Now's the perfect time to get a. How are you there? Hey, Howie. Hey, how you doing? Good. Got a poll question? Uh, uh, let me see. Um, if, if Trump doesn't run, who would you vote for in a Republican primary? Cruz, DeSantis, Paul. How about that? Anybody else? I think that's enough. Yeah. Things I serve with in the house and the Senate up here. Better strap yourself in. It's time for the Howie Carr Show. Is there something these Democrats aren't telling us? He is in real significant trouble. Joe Biden. It's time for more dementia. The American Recovery Act, research plan, recovery plan. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Live from the Matthews Brothers Studios. Look at the difference in the handling of Governor DeSantis versus Andrew Cuomo. Andrew Cuomo gets Emmys for sending your grandmother to your nursing home to her death. Okay, Governor DeSantis got more hell in Florida for keeping beaches open. <laughs> Now, we are stronger as a state and much happier as a people because of this leadership. Florida got it right, and the lockdown states got it wrong. A place where America's growing free and strong. Because when you come down to it, this is where we all belong. From swabs, hacks, and moon bats, beware. It's Howie Carr. Welcome. You can call him fat. It's Friday. I am in Florida. I'm not going to CPAC, though. I got uh, other other fish to fry, and I literally mean fish. I'm going to uh, Captain Reefers for dinner on Saturday night. I'm looking forward to that up in Juneau Beach. I'm going to take it easy this weekend. I'm not going to watch too much TV. I am going to watch, though, President Trump's speech to CPAC, the uh, convention at uh, the conservative convention in Orlando. But but first, before we get into that and, and what's been happening, uh, I, I want to just uh, ask all of the listeners, especially the ones in WHYN land out in Western Massachusetts, we're, we're looking for uh, the uh, the former janitor at, at Smith College, Mark Patten, Pattenaud. P- Pattenaud. 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 And uh, he he is the uh, guy who was forced out by the uh, false accusations against him by this black student named Omu Kanute. And uh, th- there's a uh, there's a great quote in uh, in the story in the New York Times yesterday, and that's the reason why I'm interested in him. He, uh, he, he the uh, the New York Times reporter quotes him, uh, Patanod, as saying, "We used to joke, don't let a rich student report you because if they you do, you're gone." Which is a pretty damn good quote right there, and I think it sums it up uh, pretty well. But then he he comes up with an even better quote. I don't know if I believe in white privilege. I believe in money privilege. And I think I think that sums it up perfectly what's what's happening here is you know these this, it, i don't know that this woman has money but she has privilege because of her race her class her oppressed status i i don't know if you know i i it, it from her name it doesn't seem like uh, she comes from what uh, jesse jackson and al sharpton used to call slave blood 
she, her parents seem to be immigrants, recent immigrants, I would think. And, uh, you know, but, uh, you know, she's now an oppressed, she's now a member of an oppressed class, even though they, her parents likely immigrated after affirmative action became the law of the land. So how, how much oppression has she really seen? But, you know, they, she, she makes these, uh, false allegations of racism against, uh, these, uh, these people from the, the, uh, the staff, not the faculty, the staff at Smith college and they're out the door. And uh, she gets a pass, a total pass in the story. Uh, you know, as, as Powerline blog said, I infer, uh, Scott Johnson, I infer that she is immune from consequences and even from criticism. Mr. Patton, uh, uh, Patton odd to the contrary, uh, on Omu Kanuti's immunity suggests to me that there are some things money can't buy. I, I think, I think we know what he means. Anyway, if somebody knows where we could get the uh, Mark Patton odd, and get, would love to put him on today to talk about this. And uh, we can't find a, uh, Taylor. All of his numbers are disconnected, right? Yeah, they're all changed, disconnected. Um, no active social media profiles. Yeah. So when when you go off the grid like that, it, it's tough to track down. But yeah, I'm, I'm sure somebody listening does have some contact information. Right. They can they can email it to Taylor at HowieCarshow dot com. Yeah, would love to talk to him. And uh, and I just got a, a text from uh, 413 when I was mentioning this to Grace. Mark probably won't talk. It's rumored on campus he was paid to keep quiet. I work at Smith. Yeah, I, I believe it, he he perhaps was, but he spoke to the New York Times. You know, I would, you know, if he spoke to the New York Times, uh, he can he could would appreciate it if he could speak to us. Were those quotes to the New York Times, or were those in college reports on the incident? Uh, I don't, it just says Powell quotes college janitor. Powell is the guy who wrote the story, Michael Powell. So I assume he, he's, he actually spoke to him, but we'll see. We'll see. We hope, we hope to hear from Mark. Uh, we, we heard from, uh, yesterday when we were discussing this from, from people who knew some of the other, other victims of this, uh, latest racial hoax that, uh, that took place at Smith college and was, uh, aided and abetted by the, uh, by the mainstream media, as you, as you would expect, like, uh, the New York times, which is now, you know, done s- absolved itself of some of the blame with this latest story, the Washington post, CNN, the Boston globe, et cetera, et cetera. And of course the, uh, speaker of, uh, I mean, the, the, the president of Smith college, Kathleen McCartney, she's, she's saying, she seems like a real piece of work. Anyway, 844-500-4242. We have, uh, we have a lot to talk about today. I, I think one of the interesting things is, and I think we see this more and more, is that uh, Biden is, is not all there. I mean, he, he didn't come out and, and discuss this, this uh, raid on the, uh, the Iranian militias, the proxies in, uh, in, in Syria. And uh, it's, it's in, in total contradiction to all of the tweets he was putting out last year and the, the tweets that his vice president was putting out, the tweets that his spokesman or spokeswoman Jen Psaki was putting out. And uh, because he can't, he can't discuss it. Who, who really, really thinks that, that Joe Biden called the play on the, uh, the attack on the, the Iranian surrogates. And incidentally, well, we're speaking of the Iranian, uh, the, the Iranian surrogates being bombed last night, who thinks that they would have, uh, they, that they would have issued the, uh, fired these rockets at Americans. If Donald Trump were still the president, they're just, they're just probing to see how much they can get away with now that uh, Biden is back in because they know that under Obama, Biden, Kerry, they just got whatever they wanted. All they had, they didn't even have to say boo to, to, to uh, scare the, uh, the great Satan. We just gave it, we gave them a, a million, a billion and a half dollars in cash on that pallet in the, with, in the plane with no markings on it that went to Switzerland. We unfroze a hundred billion dollars plus of their assets. They used the money to, to, uh, finance state sponsored terrorism around the world. Even Kerry admitted that. And so what did you think was going to happen when Biden got back in? It's like, uh, it, it's like all the, uh, indigents from the third world running for the border to go on welfare in the United States. 
this is just a, a variation because they know the United States doesn't have the will to protect its own borders and protect its own citizens. And uh, the, the Iranians know the same thing in the Middle East. And you have, uh, you have Biden is just not there. I mean, does any, that would have been a good poll question. We got other, another one. But does anyone really think Joe Biden made the call? Does anyone think Joe Biden knows there was a raid last night that, uh, the, that 17 or 22 people, however many it was, were, were actually killed last night? I don't know. Of course not. So uh, we've got a uh, <laughs> we played some of these cuts last last uh, night on the show, but there, there's so many of them of Biden's uh, screw ups. We, we want to play what Bongino said. Well, let's play what Dan Bongino said first, and then we'll then we'll play some of the cuts of what he's talking about. Uh, cut. This is Dan Bongino last night on Fox. He's, he used to be in the Secret Service, I believe, and he was in the NYPD and before he ran for Congress and became a media figure. But he, he still talks to people in the Secret Service. Uh, cut 24. Is there something these Democrats aren't telling us? Because it's something I warned about before the election. I was getting from my sources. Sean, again, it, it gives me absolutely no joy in saying this. And I mean that. He is in real significant trouble, Joe Biden. And listen to me. Everyone around him, everyone knows it. I think everyone who watches him on TV or maybe, maybe not the, the, uh, cleaned up sound cuts that you see on the networks, but anyone who sees it live or listens to it on our show or other talk radio shows knows what condition he's in cut 25. Everyone knows how bad it is. Everyone. It's not a mystery. It is the worst kept secret in the white house and how they can think about this. We're only in the second month of this. How bad is this going to be four years from now? This is a serious problem. This is not a joke. I know we have, we make sport of him, obviously, and we try to, uh, you know, amuse you with it. But, you know, ultimately it's, it's not. I mean, who, the question is, who's running the show? It can't be Kamala. She's not, she's not much brighter. She's, she's younger and she doesn't have uh, the, the same uh, disab- physical disabilities, but She's not really the brightest bulb on the Christmas tree, to put it mildly. We'll take some calls, 844-500-4242, and we'll play some latest examples of uh, Biden-isms that have, uh, that have occurred lately. And again, if you know where, uh, if you know where uh, Mark uh, Patnod is, uh, please give, us, give uh, Taylor, a, uh, Taylor a call or uh, email him, taylor at howiecarshow.com. Last summer, I had a dental emergency, and where did I go? Perfect smiles. I've said this before, but was reminded of what a perfectionist Dr. Houghton is. He is a veneer engineer and a world-class dental artist. Being on TV, it's important that I look my best. Dr. Houghton did that for me, and he can do it for you, too. We're in a climate right now where a lot of people don't want to go into the city for any number of reasons. Perfect Smiles is conveniently located just off the interstate highway in Nashua, New Hampshire. Parking is free. Parking is plentiful. And it's close to the Perfect Smiles office. I was impressed to see all the -the state-of-the-art safety protocols they've taken since the virus. You'll feel safe and confident when you visit Perfect Smiles. And the procedures are actually more, uh, more tolerable. They're they, uh, it's, it's easier to go through them now with these new protocols, believe it or not. I just, uh, I, I just made my appointment for when I return to Massachusetts, I'm going to be going to perfect smiles the first week I'm back in early May to see for yourself and get your perfect smile. Call one eight, four, four, a perfect smile, or go to howiecarshow.com and click on the perfect smiles banner. Whatever else you're neglecting, uh, during this time of panic, don't neglect your dental health. It's a, uh, there'll, there'll be a steep price to pay down the line and, uh, it'll, it, well, you know what it, you know what it involves when you have a, a problem with, uh, with your teeth, check out my video at perfectsmiles.com and get the perfect smiles, perfect smiles, change your smile, change your life. I'm Howie Carr. Don't touch that dial. Howie Carr will be back after this. Sig Sauer is hiring CNC machine operators, maintenance techs, quality inspectors, and more. Come to their drive through job fair on February. I had a teacher in high school named Mark Patnod, but 
I'm guessing you didn't go into the custodian business. Really? I never, yeah. I never heard that name before. What is it? A French name? French Canadian. Yeah. yeah. The view. Bernie was so menchy in that moment, like a real guy. I actually am. A you got to admit, those are pretty damn good think- quotes. Oh no, they're very good. Like, um, goodwill hunting quotes. Yeah. Remember the kid was the janitor and he was the smartest guy in the school. Mm hmm. Hammer and sickle is on the American yeah. flag before we stand up to this guy. I saw that stuff up firsthand myself in uh, Western Mass, a few miles north of Smith College. I little my head makeup that was a little bit darker uh, than my skin. I'm hoping yeah. Dr. Jill becomes a surgeon general. She's a hell of a doctor. Whoopi, if you, you said do that it. Roman Polanski, it wasn't rape rape. I know it wasn't rape rape. I, child molest, maybe? I'm not sure. It, it, was was no. it was something else, but I don't believe it was rape rape. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hair loss is not one of life's more enjoyable experiences. If you're looking to fill in your hairline or reverse years of hair loss, DiStefano Hair Restoration will create a result that will be a transformative experience. The result of my IGT procedure was quite remarkable. I now have fuller, thicker hair so I can even wear it a bit longer. There are a few major decisions I've made in my life that I wish I did sooner. My hair restoration is number one. It was by far one of the best moves I've ever made. My hair looks awesome, and the confidence from having a full head of hair again has left me feeling great. I used to look in the mirror and dreaded seeing my ever-increasing ball spot. Now, when I look in the mirror, I see the new me with a full head of thick hair. For information on how to make the same choice I did, go to hairman.com slash Howie. What are you waiting for? More hair to fall out? Get the hair you've always wanted hairman.com slash Howie. And now, one minute of Nancy Pelosi. It is a bill that uh, 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 is much needed for our farmers and ranchers. ranchers. I think there are only 47 votes against it in, in, the, uh, in the House of Representatives. The American people should know uh, the source of it. Uh, the um, Again, we are engaged in the year-end continuing resolution Homeland Security. Uh, I'm not sure. No, I haven't spoken to him since he called the other day, which was a very amicable, amicable uh, conversation. Amiable, I guess you would say, not amicable. And um, I talked to Chuck last night to say, you know, we haven't had an answer. There are other things that are going on that are newsworthy. And I think it, it, it I think you'd have more viewers or readers that pe- address concerns that people have. The list goes on about the your, the When you're slapped, you'll take it and like it. Oh, Gar is back. 339 says, how do you spell uh, Mark Patnod? P-A-T-E-N-A-U-D-E. P-A-T-E-N-A-U-D-E. Patnod. I guess it's a French name. 844-500-4242. Today's poll question is brought to you by the Eden Pure air purifier thunderstorm bogo is back this week only this week only it expires on sunday february 28th bogo to order go to edenpure.com and use code word howie bogo buy one get one free taylor what's the poll question what are the results thus far if trump doesn't run who would you vote for in the republican primary Ted Cruz, Ron DeSantis, or Rand Paul. And I know there'll be millions more running, but we just put three that came to mind and have been in the news a lot recently. I I vote for DeSantis. So do most people, 72%. Ted Cruz and Rand Paul about neck and neck. Yeah, I I mean, Rand Paul was great this week with uh, Dr. Rachel Levine talking about, uh, you know, turning... uh, turning children into uh, transgenders, just really going after them. It was, it was brilliant. And Ted Cruz, of course, tried to go to Cancun. And uh, then he, you know, he, 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 
at least he he made sport of himself. That's uh, that that was a that was good. The, that's the best defense is uh, self uh, deprecating humor. Let's play uh, cut two here. To say, Orlando is awesome. It's not as nice as Cancun. <laughs> I mean, what is it? If you have a lemon, make lemonade, as they always say, right? 844-500-4242. So let's, and again, we played a couple of these cuts yesterday, but the, this is what Dan Bongino is talking about. This is what everybody's talking about with uh, with Joe Biden. Uh, cut. Let's play cut, uh, cut 21. Rescue plan meets the moment. An analysis by, an analysis by Moody's estimates that it will help the economy create. Yeah. So uh, uh, Peter Ducey asked him the question, uh, you know, checks out the door. Remember that? A 2000, you're going to get a $2,000 check if you elect these people. And it's going out the day I'm, uh, I'm sworn in. Well, it's, it's what, a, more than a month since he was sworn in, and it's not going to be $2,000. It's going to be, I think, $1,400. And uh, so uh, Peter Ducey, uh, the one guy in the White House who asked real questions, uh, he uh, he he put the question right to uh, Biden. Cut 16. Thank you for your time. Mr. President, Thank Mr. You. President, Mr. whatever Mr. happened to your promise from Arabia? seven weeks ago that if Democrats flipped right. the Senate, the everyone. checks were going out the door. Come on, Peter. Thank you. Go, guys. Thank you. Ah, Go. What? I heard there was a strike in Syria. Did did we get Bin Laden? Remember, he was the one guy who said, "Don't don't take out Bin Laden." When they had a ch he he that was his recommendation. He was against the Alaska pipeline in 1973. He didn't want to take out uh, Bin Laden in uh, 2011. He's uh, wrong from the start. Cut 17. <clears throat> We have to fight this together as one to state the obvious. I know you all know this. You, as a friend of mine, you say you not only understand me, you overstand me. Well, who was his friend, Norm Crosby? What does that mean? I don't know. Cut 20. Depends on Congress passing the American Recovery Act, research plan, recovery plan. Something like that. You know, the AARP. <laughs> I like their magazine. I like their magazine. They, they, they give me the schedule on what's on me TV tonight. Okay. We, we got to invest some money. And again, as always, uh, the, he loves to screw up the numbers and we played this last night, but in case you missed it, cut 23. On vaccines alone. If we don't invest twenty million billion dollars to vaccinate the nation, doesn't that make sense? Twenty million billion dollars. I think he said vaccines at the beginning too. Oh, the back. We get we're back to vaccines again. Back is it back teens or vaccines? Let's hear it on vaccines alone. Okay, so it was on back. vaccines alone. Well, you think that was vaccines? Sounds, li listen real close. On vaccines alone. Eh, sounds like vaccines to me. Okay. Backed, vaccines, he said last week. And that always reminded us, uh, us of that uh, great antiseptic of yesteryear. Bactine, which is apparently still around. I didn't know that. 844-500-4242. Do we have time for uh, Wayne? One quick one. Wayne, yeah. quickly. Wayne, go ahead. Yes. Hi. How, how, how we... Um I'd like to be able to talk to you just a, a quick deal about the um, future uh, Republican presidential nominee. Um, I don't believe Ted Cruz is eligible because of his uh, birth location. That's true. But, you know, John McCain, uh, they said that about him, too. He was born in the uh, canal zone and uh, he got to he got to run for president. George Romney got to run for president. I think he was born in Mexico. I'm Howie Carr. <laughs> It's a new year and time for a new you. DiStefano hair restoration changed my life and they can change yours too. My production director said when he saw a recent pic of me that you look great like Benjamin Button. You're getting younger.
That's quite the compliment, and I owe it to DiStefano Hair Restoration and Dr. Chris Hines. Many wait years before they get the hair restoration they deserve. Stop waiting and just get it done. You won't regret it, and you'll ask yourself, why did you wait so long? You can see my before and after photo shoot on their site at hairman.com, hairman.com. The Stefano Hair Restoration is taking all the necessary precautions to keep you safe during your visit. They also offer virtual consultations. Go to hairman.com today and schedule your free consultation and get the hair you deserve and have always wanted. Dr. Highness took care of me and will take care of you too. Visit them today at hairman.com. And now, a minute of wisdom from Alexandria Ocasio Cortez. Millennials and people, and you know, Gen Z and all these folks that come after us are looking up, and we're like, the world is going to end in 12 years if we don't address climate change. And your biggest issue is your, your biggest issue is how are we going to pay for it? And like, this is the war. This is our World War II. I think that there's a lot of people more concerned about being precisely, factually, and semantically correct than about being morally right. But being factually correct is important. It's absolutely important. And if we work our butts off to make sure that we take back all three chambers of Congress, uh, rather all three chambers of government, the presidency, the Senate, and the House in 2020, we can't start working in 2020. You've been hearing me talk about Super Beats for a while now, and I'm sure some of you are still thinking, why Super Beats? You could take it from me. The benefits of Super Beats are incredible. I take them twice a day, once in the morning when I get up, even before I have my first cup of coffee, and the other time in the afternoon, right before the show. It gives me a burst of energy. It's great for my blood pressure. It's good for circulation. It just makes you feel better. If that doesn't convince you, we can talk about the science behind Super Beats. Beats have nitrates. Nitrates support better blood flow, and better blood flow equals better energy and efficiency throughout the body and even supports healthy blood pressure. But Super Beets does so much more than eating regular beets and is unparalleled compared to other beet powders. Just one scoop of Super Beets has the nitric oxide equivalent of three whole beets. Go to superbeetsradio.com slash Howie and try out Super Beets yourself. www.superbeetsradio.com slash Howie. www.superbeetsradio.com slash Howie. The moon bats always say Donald Trump isn't very bright. But what about Barack Hussein Obama? Let's listen to some of his greatest hits. Uh, I've now been in 57 states. I think one left to go. I don't know what the term is in Austrian. The Cambridge police acted stupidly. And there has never been any man or woman more qualified for this office than Hillary Clinton. There are neighborhoods around the country where it is easier for a 12 or 13 year old to purchase a gun and cheaper than it is for them to get a book. I believe in the Second Amendment. It's there written on the paper. If we if we fall for, you know, a, a bunch of okey doke A few months ago when you were asked what's the biggest geopolitical threat facing America, you said Russia, not Al Qaeda. You said Russia in the 1980s or now calling to ask for their foreign policy back. Here's one minute with Governor Charlie Parker in Massachusetts. I certainly put myself on that list. I'm a basketball player. I always was. There's a lot at stake here. This is not a virus to be <clears throat> trifled with or disrespected. Respect the virus. I have a hard time understanding when we're going to be able to play basketball again. We can start talking about a gradual, careful, data-driven, phased reopening. Don't let a few nice days Step on that. I need to. I need to talk to the attorney general and find out what the what the actual parameters of the ruling are. I wasn't. Did this just happen? Um, and the reason I read that story is because I'm a basketball player, and I agree. I was first made aware of the discrepancy on this um, on the day that um, the writers were resigned. The vast majority, and I mean like the vast majority of the people who are part of these protests, are there to make a point and to make it peacefully. That is. So obvious, I'm amazed that anybody could say anything other than that. I would love to be able to open everything up tomorrow. That would be an incredibly irresponsible thing to do. Live from the Matthews Brothers Studios.
844-500-4242. I just opened my email. I, uh, I'm on the mailing list of uh, Dove Hikend. Hikend. He's a uh, former New York assemblyman. I think he's from Brooklyn. He's a uh, Orthodox Jewish, I think. And uh, he's uh, having a demonstration. He and Sid Rosenberg of ABC Radio, who I've met at conferences before, uh, they, they are going to have a demonstration outside of 30 Rock NBC headquarters tomorrow night, right before Saturday Night Live, to, to protest the uh, NBC's spate of anti-Semitic flavor program, the fr- uh, programming. They had uh, they had it on some, on some, some uh, dramatic series that some uh, Orthodox Jewish person wouldn't take a transplant from a black. I saw that. Now, I mean, it was absurd. It was, it was totally bogus, you know? Uh, I mean, yeah. they, they made it all up. And, and then there was the thing about, uh, you know, how the uh, Israel and on Saturday Night Live, their fake news uh, uh, broadcast, they said that uh, Israel was re- refusing to uh, vaccinate the Palestinians. No, they said 50 percent of Israel's vaccinated. It, uh, I'm going to guess it's the Jewish half. Right. And that, that was supposed to be funny. But it was wrong on like three or four different levels, including the percentage of the population and how many Jew, uh, how many Arabs were getting vaccinated. It was just, it was just, B, it was just more BS. I like though the fact that uh, Dove Hikund in this uh, in this release says no one needs to get canceled, but lots of people need to get educated. Yeah, and, about and Jew hate. That's a good know, way to put it. Howie, I listen to this podcast every day, and it's two um, Jewish girls, and they talk a lot about uh, pop culture and stuff. And they were talking about this. And one of them said, well, you know, she's a comedian. And she said, you know, I'm really always trying to stay firmly on the side of comedy is comedy and you want to make a joke. And then the other girl, their sisters, she said, yeah, but SNL doesn't make jokes about any other group. They only make jokes about Jewish people. So why is anti-Semitism okay? but no one else can get made fun of? If you're going to make fun of people, make fun of everybody, at least. Well, I think you can make fun of Republicans, can't you, Grace? And and, and I would say Catholics are probably fair game evangelicals. Uh, But even Catholics now don't get it as much as Jewish people do on SNL. Yeah, I I don't know. I never watch uh, SNL. I miss John Bellucci. (laughs) I would cheeseburger, say I someone, cheeseburger. Howie, I would say I missed something about SNL, but I was born in 1992, so I never really saw it in its prime. No, you didn't. It was you, already going downhill. You didn't. The P- Grace, people who were born a decade before you never saw it in their prime <laughs> either. <laughs> oh, good. I don't feel as uh, left out. Um, Howie, are you ready for Grace's news? I'm ready. <laughs> And before I tell you about Grace's news, Howie, I did this awesome Grace's goodies today for people who don't know what Grace's goodies is. It's in my show and it's similar to the cheap Astro deal, but this is a really great deal, Howie. It's Lakes Cosmetics Institute and you can get all sorts of things there. You can get Botox, you can get fillers, you can get a lot of different um, non-surgical procedures. I actually went there and um, I got a procedure by Jennifer. She's fabulous. She does such a good job and this stuff can be get really expensive. This is so awesome. You can get a $50 value of a gift certificate, but you only pay $25. So if you're a guy out there and you're trying to figure out something to get your wife or your girlfriend, this is a great gift. And let me assure you, she will use it and she will love it. GraceCurlyShow.com or HowieCarcher.com and click on store. Can you use it for Botox? Yes, you can. And it's fabulous. Could I get a Botox treatment there? Yes, you could, Howie. So I could look like that picture we tweeted out of me back in 1985 in the old Herald newsroom. That was a great photo, Howie. That was before you went blonde. Do you still have that tie? People tie were asking, so "Are you the one who tweet who, who retweeted that that little that snide comment?" Somebody else tweeted back. Just got back from lunch at JJ Foley's, huh, Howie? No, I don't have that tie. As a matter of fact, though, I was looking at that tie. That was a nice tie for for its time. It was a little crooked. There, there was another thing I noticed too, Grace. That uh, that those that was in the days when I had a problem that they wanted to talk to me about the cosmetologist at Channel Seven. My five o'clock shadow. That's yes. not a problem for me anymore because my hair isn't the only thing that's gone blonde. My beard I, has too. It's amazing how that happens. You dyed your hair blonde, and your beard just knew to change. It did. It's really wild. It did. Uh, but yeah, I want to. I, I could get the Botox. Where do they go to get that uh, that gift certificate? HowieCarshow.com. Click on store. It's a really great deal. It's 
uh, $50 gift certificates for only $25. It's Lakes Cosmetic Institute. And I just want to say a lot of people, they're nervous to get Botox. First of all, it doesn't hurt. And also sometimes you're nervous that, you know, you want to go to a really reputable place. You don't want to feel like, you know, something's going to happen. And this woman, Jennifer Nunez is so good, Howie. She's the nicest lady and she's such a pro. So if you're going to get it somewhere, this is the place to go. Um, okay, now time for a little Grace's news. This is not going to come as a shock to anyone. Oil is up nearly 70% since the election, a record in the modern era. And if you if you haven't filled up your tank since the inauguration of Joe Biden, you probably didn't know that. On the other hand, if you have filled up since January 20th, you are certainly aware of it. Yeah, I, I, I midweek this week, I was running low on gas. So I said, I'm only two days away from vacation. I don't need that much. Put in 15 bucks. No, I coasted into work on fumes today. <laughs> yeah, no, I know. I did the same thing yesterday, Taylor. I got $10, which is usually you know a decent amount for me. But I was running late, so I didn't have a lot of time. And I went into my car and I was like, did it even go in? Like it didn't right. even, the, the, the ticker didn't even move. You know, there's yep. certain ways you measure the health of the economy and the price of gasoline is one of the prime methods, isn't it? I mean, if, if, if you could fill up your car for practically no money, all's right in the world, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And, and it's one of those things. It's like you paved paradise to put up a parking lot. You don't really enjoy it while it's happening. Cause you're just like, Oh, you know, you're just filling it up. No big deal. But once it goes up, you feel it. You're like, oh, God. I th Grace, I think I could swear we warned people, didn't we, during the election uh, campaign? I think Donald Trump warned people, too. Anyone who was paying attention knew what was going to happen. I got this article from CNN, and there's a part of it that, that cracks me up. It says, the monster gains in the energy market are not about politics or even policy. Hmm. Rather, they underscore, underscore a growing sense that the worst of the deadly pandemic is in the rearview mirror. And the U.S. economy is poised to roar back to life. Wall Street, backed by easy money from the Federal Reserve, is making a massive bet that Americans' thirst for oil will rise dramatically. I don't, I don't buy it, CNN. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, can CNN be deplatformed just for that one simple paragraph of BS? And this, it's, talk about disinformation. I know. I know. It's real. It, it reminds me, like of a propaganda machine like 1984 or something you read this stuff you go do people actually read this and think this is true the level of spin they put on joe biden is amazing like today for example he goes to texas and they're like joe biden lands in texas surveying the damage and being a hero to all the people in need and all the comments beneath it are 10 days later you guys would have ripped trump apart if he if he hadn't been there 10 hours later I know. And then if there'd been a traffic jam in Houston because of uh, his, his motorcade, they would have ripped him apart for that, too. Or if he had thrown paper towels in the air. Remember that whole scandal? Oh, yeah, scandal? The Puerto Rico, yeah. Jeez Louise. Um, by the way, Howie, this is a little bit more um, up your alley, but Peter Gotti, the former Gambino crime boss, has yeah, died. Yeah, brother of uh, John Gotti. Yes. Is yeah. this old news? What? Is this old news? No, 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 no. I'm just saying that's, uh, you know, that he's, he's better known as like the, the, uh, consigliere, I guess, of his brother who was the guy, you, you know, he was the dapper Don, the Teflon Don, they called him until he turned into the Velcro Don. Yes. Uh, that's what this says, how you're right on. And it says he died in North, in North Carolina, where he was serving time in Butner. federal prison. Butner. He, was he was, he was with, uh. He was with uh, Bernie Madoff, and 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 until until he got out to die from cancer, uh, Sal DeMacy, the crooked former House Speaker in Massachusetts, who who is still alive and now is and now a registered lobbyist at the State House, five years later. Wowzers! And by the way, Howie, House Dems added forty million to a hundred million dollar Pelosi subway pork and COVID bill. So, uh, House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy said Friday, subway pork. Pelosi Subway pork. That's what the New York Post said. Is it, is Subway serving a pork sandwich now? <laughs> I think it's a different Subway. It says Democrats <laughs> added $40 million to a Subway near Speaker Nancy Pelosi's district overnight in the House Rules Committee after criticism of $100 million already earmarked for the project. So that's how greedy she is. She added another $40 million overnight. Hmm. Uh, Mike, the Lyft driver, is uh, is watching on YouTube as Biden's helicopter lands. Yeah. If he turns it off, the the attend the uh, viewership will be down fourteen percent because there's seven people watching it. There's seven people. 
I've been on those before where there's so few people and I feel bad leaving, like exiting out. So there's, a, there's more people watching me right now, Grace. There's, there were more people watching you than are, than are watching Joe Biden. Well, of course. We have a better show. Both of us do. Howie, we're entertainers. <laughs> you know, people are people are getting a product when they listen to us. That's right. I'll flip my, uh, and you get the extra, Joe Biden can't flip a pen like I can, right? Look at but this. How, do you ever go to like an event or something and there's not a lot of people in the audience? And you oh, get yes, I have. It's and, very dis, it's very disheartening, Grace. Yeah, but it's even worse because, you know, you can't leave because you're like, if I leave, then we go from we, we lose one fourth of the audience. If I walk out the door, that's how I feel watching a Joe Biden YouTube. It's like if I leave, then I'm I'm really bringing down the numbers here. They're they're counting on me. <laughs> uh, OK, Grace, what are, you got anything else? Uh, Howie, I got one more thing to let people know. The Grace's News is brought to you by Toyota of Portsmouth, the house of value. Just a heads up, guys. They're so great there. They will treat you um, amazingly. You'll feel like family. You will not feel pressure. But a side note, it's very cold here again. I, I know you're going to be shocked by this, Howie. It was warm for two days, and now it is frigid. I, I check the weather report every morning, Grace. I know you do, because you like to rub it in, and you love when it's cold. I, I like to go. Today, today, it was like 22 in Wellesley, and it was... I think 68 degrees in Palm beach. That's about, Darn it. that's about the normal break. The, but norm the good thing about Toyota of Portsmouth is that they're beautiful, sparkling, clean showrooms. Almost most of the cars, the, the majority of the cars are inside. So you can stay nice and warm. And that's a huge plus when you're looking for a car. I wouldn't want to be out in the freezing cold. They're located just South of the Portsmouth traffic circle off 95. Go to Toyota of Portsmouth.com or visit them in the showroom and tell them Grace sent you. I'm going to go try to find that guy you're looking for. How he do you. And I will be back for police blotter in the five o'clock. Pat nod. Pat nod is his name. Please I'll find him. If he's out there, I'll find him. All right. And uh, yeah, he may have a non-disclosure agreement, but he apparently violated it if he gave those quotes to the New York Times. So come on, no one's going to come after you. You can trust us. We're not like the others. Great news. The Gen 40 heater is back and just in time for the really cold temperatures that Grace was just talking about. Oil prices are going to keep going up. Thanks, Joe Biden. The Keystone XL pipeline has been stopped. Now they want to stop the Dakota pipeline. Thanks, Aaron Rodgers, for signing the petition. There, now there's a moratorium on fracking on federal land. That means natural gas is going, the price is going way up. It's uh, The, the uh, temperature is plummeting again in New England. You need to start planning, and that means you need the Gen 40 heater. Robert from the Cape says the Gen 40 performs like no other heater I've ever used. It is remarkable. And look at how mobile it is, how easy it is to carry. I'm picking it up in my left hand. Right, Taylor? It's a good product, is it not? It sure is. It's going to get a little rest in the uh, the Cormier household this next week. I'm going down uh, your way. I'm going to be the other side of the state, though. But... Uh, I know that when I come back, the Gen 40 is going to be working just as well as it did when I left, and it's going to maintain that nice 68 to 70, 70 degree Florida temperature in Harrison's room. The Eden Pure Gen 40 makes you feel warmer than your furnace, and it also costs less to run. You may be working more from home now, and you will need to pay close attention to the heating bills. The Eden Pure Gen 40 will pay for itself in a matter of weeks. Go to EdenPure.com and put in code word HOWIEDEAL, that's HOWIEDEAL, to get $50 off the sale price. That's EdenPure.com and use code word HOWIEDEAL for an extra 50 bucks off. These heaters are in high demand, so go right now to EdenPure.com. I'm Howie Carr. Keep it here. The captain will be back after this. And now, one minute of Nancy Pelosi. It is a bill that uh, uh, is much needed for our farmers and ranchers. ranchers. I think there are only 47 votes against it in, in, the, uh, in the House of Representatives. The American people should know uh, the source of it. Uh, the um, Again, we are engaged in the year end continuing resolution, Homeland Security. Uh, I'm not sure. No, I haven't spoken to him since he called the other day, which was a very amicable, amicable uh, conversation. Amiable, I guess you would say, not amicable. And um, I talked to Chuck last night to say, you know, we haven't had an answer. There are other things that are going on that are newsworthy. And I think it, it, it I think you'd have more viewers or readers that address concerns that people have 
the list goes on about the George. Everyone knows I love coffee and I'm not giving it up. I know that it would keep me up from time to time, but no longer with Balance 7. Balance 7 is a clear mineral liquid that you take three times a day to break down the acid in your body. When it does this, you'll feel better and me, I sleep better. Often I'm asked to try products and I can be very skeptical on their claims. But with Balance 7, it was all 100% true. With Balance 7, I didn't feel my energy starting to flag as the day wore on. Because by sleeping better at night, it also gave me mental clarity during the day. Balance 7 is a highly alkalizing concentrate. That means it reduces the acids that have built up in your body. Balance 7 is also known for reducing acid reflux and heartburn as it did for the mailroom manager. Balance 7 is made of safe, all-natural ingredients. If you suffer from heartburn, acid reflux, or sleep issues, you should give Balance 7 a try. Order the 8-ounce 12-pack supply at Balance7.com. Put in code word Howie, you will save $10, and you'll also get free shipping. Balance7.com. They're outlandish, they're outrageous, and they're hypocrites. They're the women of the view. Bernie was so menschy in that moment, like a real guy. I actually am aroused by him. Timothy McVeigh was a Christian. Just saying. Hitler was a Christian. Well, he didn't like the Catholics. Trump needs to be medicated and hospitalized (laughs) at this point, or he is going to just kill all of us. I mean, do we have to wait till the hammer and sickle is on the American flag before we stand up to this guy? Joy. You've worn blackface. I did not go in blackface, please. No, she was not in blackface. Thank you. It was a Halloween party. I went as a beautiful African woman. Did you have tanning lotion on? A little, I had makeup that was a little bit darker Uh, than my skin. I'm hoping Dr. Jill becomes a surgeon general. She's a hell of a doctor. Whoopi, you you said that Roman Polanski, it wasn't rape rape. I know. Do you see a story that John Durham has resigned? Maybe I'm not sure. It was something something else, but I don't believe it was rape rape. Oh, Oh, no. Say what you will about him. He's a common ignorant slob. He don't even speak good English. He doesn't even speak good English. He's Ali Carr, and he's here to stay. They're a private property, so please... Everyone, when you're in the ballroom, when you're seated, you should still be wearing a mask. So if everybody can go ahead, work on that. I know, I, I know it's, it's not the most fun. You, you have the right. You have the right to set the own rules in your own house. And we're borrowing somebody else's house. So. Oh, shut up. They didn't come to Florida to be... Karen, if you got a problem, call uh, Charlie Parker's snitch line, okay? Or Janet Mills snitch line. Speaking of uh, these uh, bust out the uh, Democrat blue state hacks, first Massachusetts's web- website crashes for vaccinations twice. Then Maryland, that fat slob governor, Larry Hogan, his website crashes as soon as they tried to open it. Marion uh, or Muriel Bowser the uh, former lead singer of uh, Shanana, who's now the mayor of Washington, D.C. That's a joke. Uh, she set up, a, she opened her website today for vaccinations. It, it lasted about as long as Massachusetts, a couple of minutes. It crashed, too. Uh, 844-500-4242. So I guess uh, the, the Russia collusion hoax probe is officially over the uh, u.s attorney for connecticut john durham resigned so i but i don't know if that means that he's just resigning for for u.s attorney for connecticut because everybody everybody is out today all the republican appointees are out today does that i guess it i guess it I don't know what, what it means. Everybody's saying it's over, but then, then I'm reading another story now from the uh, Hartford current, John Durham to remain a special counsel, but whatever, nothing's going to happen. Whether he's, he's, uh, the, the figurehead in this, uh, non-investigation or not. 844-500-4242. Uh, let's play Let's play a couple of cuts from, uh, Don, uh, Don, Donald Trump Jr. This is these he's he was really good today at uh, at, at CPAC in uh, Orlando, and he's uh, talking about uh, the governor of his native state of New York as opposed to the governor of his new state. He, he's now going to live in Jupiter, Florida. 
in uh, in a gate, very very exclusive gated community, which is Jupiter's about like I don't know ten miles from Mar-a-Lago, something like that. Uh, cut thirteen. Look at the difference in the handling of Governor DeSantis versus Andrew Cuomo. Andrew Cuomo gets Emmys for sending your grandmother to your nursing home to her death. Okay, Governor DeSantis got more hell in Florida for keeping beaches open. That is so true. All the Republic and the Republican mayors, too, that kept the beaches open. Oh, they got so much crap from all these uh, these bankrupt newspapers down here. Cut 14. There is a double standard that's out there. I think that people in America see it, which is why the mainstream media's approval ratings is almost as low as Congress's. But until we have more people that are willing to step up and tell the truth and speak to the American people, uh, you know, we're a little bit at a loss. So I guess Durham resigned as U.S. attorney, but not as special counsel. Because, but everybody had to resign. Today is Andrew Lelling's last day, for for instance, in Boston. They they were uh, they were they were told that they had to resign, and, and you know you can't really blame Biden for that. They all do it. It's just when a when a Republican does it, it's unprecedented. When a Democrat does it, it's business as usual to to want to put their own people in. Uh, cut 15, Don, Don Jr. At the you got to make sure we get a billion dollars for illegals. Uh, they don't pay taxes. They likely never will. They take jobs from Americans. But, you know, let's make sure they're on the government take. Maybe one day they'll vote Democrat. This is asinine, and it does nothing for the American people. Exactly. Exactly. The borders are wide open now. And uh, it's not just uh, – it's not just – Mexicans and uh, Guatemalans and Hondurans coming in to go on welfare. It's Iranians crossing the border. I wonder, I wonder what they're up to. Their uh, their their militias in Syria killed an American the other day, right? That's why they uh, that's why they bombed the uh, that's why the American jets bombed the uh, the way stations for the uh, Iranians proxy militias last night. Joe Biden. May not know that, but that's that's what happened. All right. 844-500-4242-919 says, just because you're not fat anymore doesn't mean you should be fat shaming. I should be fat shaming when you have a when you have a jerk like uh, like Larry Hogan, the uh, fat slob governor of Maryland, or Jerry Nadler, the fat slob congressman from Manhattan. I'm Howie Carr. <laughs> Several years ago, we here at Matthews Brothers launched a website called MatthewsBrothers.com. We did this for a couple of reasons. First, it's our name, and it seemed to make sense that we name it after ourselves. Secondly, we thought it would be a useful place to post interesting things about our wicked awesome windows and doors. Shortly after we launched it, this fella, who insists on calling himself the webmaster, told us that he could put anything we wanted to on our website. Since we were getting kind of tired of seeing his vacation photos there... We took him up on his offer. Today, there's so much fun stuff to do on our website. It's like going to a theme park, but without the lines or the mask. Do you want to know the closest dealer to you? Even if you're out in the middle of nowhere, or worse yet, New Jersey? We've got a dealer locator for that. Want to page through a colorful catalog without having to lick your fingers? We've got a flip book for that. Accidentally take the bottom sash out of the frame and there's a blizzard coming and you can't get it back in and the factory's closed? We've even got a video for that. You can learn more about our wicked awesome windows and doors, but only at Better Lumber Yards and Window Professionals or on the web at MatthewsBrothers.com. Matthews Brothers with one T, America's oldest window manufacturer. 200 moms, dads, sons, daughters, and grandparents who are no longer with us. I think it's up to 30,000 people have died. Over 600,000 dead, 600 plus thousand people. 60,000. 60,000. Six, six, We're in the middle of a pandemic that had cost us more than 85,000 jobs, lives of millions of people. And now we have over 120 million dead from COVID. 200 million people have died. 205 million people, 1,000 people. 210 million, 210,000 people have died. 4 million existing billion, 500,000. 50,000, excuse me, 50,000. A class of 25, you end up having two classes of 12, for example. But you know, in the 2020 census, which is now two censuses ago, the Oval, back in 29, May 9, 2019, a $15 million, a $15,000, $15 minimum wage. I got to the Senate 180 years ago. This is Charlie Baker. Hey, everybody. Massachusetts Governor Charlie Baker here. And these 
are his friends. I may not make it through this story. And I told a story about a fisherman that I met in New Bedford. He's coming off the boat. He's a big, huge man, completely soaked in sweat and salt water. In the world of Charlie Baker and his friends, the real world of panic porn, political leaders cannot survive without absolute power. And the public can't be expected to blindly follow orders without first hearing a made-up story. And he started to cry, and I gave him a hug. He was a big, huge guy. It was like hugging a mountain. And then he said, see those two kids up there? And he said, those are my sons. They were both spectacular football players at New Bedford High School who were given college scholarships and ruined their lives. And you hear those kinds of stories every day. And they are the only friends Charlie Baker has. Now's the perfect time to get a pair of premium wireless earbuds, and Raycon is the way to go. Raycon started about half the price of other premium brands on the market, and they sound just as amazing. And Raycon's everyday E25 earbuds are their best model yet. You get six hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing, more bass, and a more compact design that gives you a comfortable, noise-isolating fit. Perfect for conference calls, video chats, or binging podcasts. Raycon was founded by Ray J, and celebrities like Cardi B and J.R. Smith have already given Raycons their seal of approval. I love my Raycons, and Grace loves hers, too. Howie, I love my Raycons. Best birthday gift ever. I listen to much better music than she does, though. Hey, that's not true. Now it's your turn to see what the hype is all about. Go to buyraycon.com slash Howie. That's buyraycon.com slash Howie. Buyraycon.com slash Howie. Here's one minute with Governor Charlie Parker in Massachusetts. I'd certainly put myself on that list. I'm a basketball player. I always was. There's a lot at stake here. This is not a virus to be trifled with or disrespected. Respect the virus. I have a hard time understanding when we're going to be able to play basketball again. We can start talking about a gradual, careful, data-driven, phased reopening. Don't let a few nice days step on that. I need to I need to talk to the Attorney General and find out what the what the actual parameters of the ruling are. I wasn't did this just happen? Um, and the reason I read that story is because I'm a basketball player and I agree. I was first made aware of the discrepancy on this um, on the day that um, the Raiders star resigned. The vast majority, and I mean like the vast majority of the people who are part of these protests are there to make a point and to make it peacefully. That is so obvious I'm amazed that anybody could say anything other than that. I would love to be able to open everything up tomorrow. That would be an incredibly irresponsible thing to do. Are we starting to feel bad for Joe Biden? Sort of. Are we going to play his gaps anyway? <laughs> of course. My name's Joe Biden. I'm a Democratic candidate for the United States Senate. Now we need to stand behind Jamie Harrison. The next president I I'm looking forward to appointing the first African-American woman to the United States Senate. Just like here in California, I mean, here in Nevada. Back in the, in the spring, late fall, or at least, I mean, late spring, late winter, early fall. Early, anyway, you know what I mean. Look, tomorrow's Super Thursday, Tuesday. I tell you what, I'm rushing ahead, aren't I? We hold these truths to be self-evident. All men and women created by the go, you know the, you know the thing. <laughs> it says you cannot have. 20, 30, 40, 50 clips in a weapon. We'll see who's sleepy. <laughs> Mr. Vice President, thank you. All right, Chuck, thank you very much. Uh, all right, uh, it's Christmas. Sometimes I wake up and I think it's 1920, not 2020. You're listening to The Howie Car Show. I want to be clear in how I characterize this. This is a, mostly a protest. Uh, it is not, uh, it is not generally speaking, unruly. That ain't a riot, what we're seeing right now in Minneapolis. They are strictly principled anti-fascists. No organization is perfect. There was some violence. Any reasonable person would say we shouldn't be destroying other people's property, but these are not reasonable times. I argue to you tonight, all punches are not equal morally. But thank goodness for the looters, man. And please, 
Show me where it says that protests are supposed to be polite and peaceful. Do not get it twisted and think that, oh, this is some something that has not never happened before. And then this is so terrible. And where are we and these savages and all of that? This is how this country was started. People get mad and people get sick of it. People are risking COVID to explain to this country that we're fed up. Hair loss is not one of life's more enjoyable experiences. If you're looking to fill in your hairline or reverse years of hair loss, DiStefano Hair Restoration will create a result that will be a transformative experience. The result of my IGT procedure was quite remarkable. I now have fuller, thicker hair so I can even wear it a bit longer. There are a few major decisions I've made in my life that I wish I did sooner. My hair restoration is number one. It was by far one of the best moves I've ever made. My hair looks awesome, and the confidence from having a full head of hair again has left me feeling great. I used to look in the mirror and dreaded seeing my ever-increasing ball spot. Now, when I look in the mirror, I see the new me with a full head of thick hair. For information on how to make the same choice I did, go to hairman.com slash Howie. What are you waiting for? More hair to fall out? Get the hair you've always wanted. Hairman.com slash Howie. Joe Biden's plagiarizing prowess proves one thing. He's been stealing all his life. Why is it that Joe Biden is the first in his family ever to go to a university? Why am I the first connect in a thousand generations? To be able to get the university. Why is it that my wife who's sitting out there in the audience is the first in her family to ever go to college? Why is Glennis the first woman in her family in a thousand generations to be able to get the university? No, it's not because they weren't as smart. Does anybody really think that they didn't get what we had because they didn't have the talent? It's not because they didn't work as hard. Or the strength, or the endurance, or the commitment. Of course not. It's because they didn't have... Better strap yourself in. It's time for the Howie Carr Show. Is there something these Democrats aren't telling us? He is in real significant trouble, Joe Biden. It's time for more dementia. The American Recovery Act, research plan, recovery plan. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Live from the Matthews Brothers Studios. Look at the difference in the handling of Governor DeSantis versus Andrew Cuomo. Andrew Cuomo gets Emmys for sending your grandmother to your nursing home to her death. Okay, Governor DeSantis got more hell in Florida for keeping beaches open. Now, we are stronger as a state and much happier as a people because of this leadership. Florida got it right and the lockdown states got it wrong. A place where America is growing free and strong. Because when you come down to it, this is where we all belong. Rump swabs, hacks and moon bats beware. It's Howie Carr. 844-500-4242. That's the toll-free number of the Howie Carr Show. Happy Friday to all concerned. We will have in the next hour, Police Blotter Facts Friday with Grace. And in the final hour of the show tonight, we will have uh, Dr. Matt, the vet, on with us. And he'll be here to answer your questions about your house pets. And I guess one question we're going to ask him is about uh, chips in, in dogs. Because I don't know if uh, Lady Gaga had chips in her uh, her French bulldogs, but seems like if she did and they were activated, they they would have them back by now, or they would know where they were anyway. And the uh, the, the New York Post today ran a story about uh, all the uh, beautiful people who own French bulldogs. As as I think Doctor Matt said in a recent uh, recent appearance, he said uh, French bulldogs are the new pugs because they. They don't have the nose. I forget what, the, what you call what the official uh, term is, but uh, they same same type of breed. But now somehow French bulldogs are more popular. A beautiful dog, a talented dog. But I couldn't believe the New York Post forgot to mention what I think is the most famous owner of the French bulldog, that uh, social justice warrior AOC. She got one last year. All right, uh, 844-500-4242. And meanwhile, at uh, CPAC, the, uh, the, the young conservatives who were there today and they're listening to 
Ted Cruz and uh, Ron DeSantis, Don Jr., Matt Gates, et cetera, et cetera. Mostly Florida people come to think of it. They, uh, they, they were told that they have to wear masks. So maybe they should have moved the, the uh, CPAC convention to, to Spring Hill, Florida, to Becky Jack's Food Shack. Becky Jack's Food Shack. They say you don't need to wear face diapers. Face diapers not required. Face diapers. 844-500-4242. Before we get to our next topic, I just wanted to mention a couple of stories here that I haven't gotten to this week that are that are uh, pretty good stories. Uh, Glenn Grothman is a, a Wisconsin Republican congressman, and he's one of uh, Trump's most loyal supporters in the House. And uh, he has introduced a, a, uh, a, a bill to expand guidelines for eligibility for any kind of governmental assistance. And he wants to bar all non-citizens, all non-citizens from getting so much as a penny from any federal programs. We can only take on so many immigrants. We're swearing in another 700,000, a little under that per year. You should go home, go back home and prepare yourself and get yourself in a position in which you could get a job. But if you can't get a job, then they can take care of you. They can take care of you and whichever country you came from. And he says non-citizens should not have access to welfare. I'm with Congressman Grothman on that one. 844-500-4242. You know, all over Europe. Uh, some of these uh, Muslims that have moved into Europe, they decided to go back to the Mideast a few years back and join ISIS and kill kill Shi- Shiite Muslims and Yazidis and uh, Maronite Christians and Alawites, and Jews. They were going to kill everybody, you know, they uh, gays. Everybody was going to be killed by ISIS. And these people were just swarming out of Europe back to go back to the Middle East to take part in the genocide against everybody who wasn't a Sunni Muslim. Well, now ISIS has been vanquished, or at least it was vanquished. It's probably coming back now with Joe Biden in, in control. So the, a group of, uh, a, a group of uh, women who went over there with their kids are now petitioning to return to France where they can go on welfare. They're in, uh, they've been detained for, by Kurdish forces, but you know, I know Kurdish people don't like ISIS any more than anybody else does, but they are technically Muslims. You would think that these ISIS women would want to stay in custody of their fellow Muslims, even if they are uh, uh, deviating from the Quran or whatever they say. So, but now, now uh, France, which is reeling from years of uh, Muslim terror attacks, doesn't want to take in these terrorists who left. But one of the women said, we want to pay our debt to society for the choice we made to come here. The debt, I, and they want to pay their debt to society by returning to France and going on welfare. In the fall, France was hit by several Muslim terrorist attacks that reopened old wounds. And, uh, but, uh, so there's this big dispute going on. Are they going to let these women back into, and their, and their, uh, little, uh, kids. I wonder if the kids are going to grow up to be productive citizens or more terrorists. What are, what are the odds? Okay. A couple of feel good stories for you here before police blotter facts Friday. I've been oh, sitting on these for a couple of, for a while. A 12 year old allegedly shot and killed a home intruder during an armed robbery in North Carolina. This is in Goldsboro. (laughs) Officers responding to report of a shooting at the, at an apartment shortly before 1 AM found one of the residents, a 73 year old woman suffering from an apparent gunshot wound. A second person suffering from an alleged gunshot wound was found at an intersection, a half block from the apartment. He was identified as Khalil Herring, 19 of Goldsboro. He was shot by the 12 year old in self-defense charges against the juvenile shooter were not anticipated. Khalil Herring's mother was reached for comment about her deceased home invading son. He's a good boy, a very good boy. Cleveland, Ohio, a 19 year old man was shot and killed by the person he was trying to rob. Cleveland police said this happened in the parking lot of the HP gas station on uh, Wednesday evening. 
A 24-year-old man called 911 and told dispatchers he had shot a man during a robbery attempt at a second suspect that followed him home and was standing around outside his, outside his house. When police got to the gas station, they found Rufus Harris, 19, laying, well, not laying, he was lying on the parking lot, suffering from multiple gunshot wounds. The second suspect, Rufus's friend, was arrested outside the 24-year-old uh, man's house. Did uh, Rufus Harris's mother have a have a statement on her uh, on her uh, armed robbing dead son? He's a good boy, a very good boy. Yeah, I thought so. Eight four four five hundred forty two forty two. I don't know if you saw this story. Uh, this was uh, from from uh, South Africa. It's in the New York Post today. Woman uses own thong as mask after nearly being kicked out of the store. So she was she was shopping and she was in the the uh, the line at the checkout counter with a uh, with a cart full of groceries, and a uh, security guard suddenly asked the maskless woman to put on a face mask or leave the store. So she had no, and she, she looks fairly not guilty having no mask handy. The resourceful renegade objected before pausing, presumably the moment a light bulb went off in her head. So they, and they have this all on video. Uh, she reaches up under her skirt, then pulls out her black thong underwear down her legs and up to her face. Ergo it was a face diaper where she placed it in such a way as to cover her nose and her mouth. Happy. She asked the guard sarcastically, an astonished onlooker, apparently a Karen, can also be heard uttering, good Lord, from behind the camera. Meanwhile, another shopper standing did, on. Did it, was it more like a, oh, heavens me. Oh, I'm going to get the vapors. Uh, does someone have the number of Governor Charlie Parker's snitch line? Meanwhile, another shopper standing online directly behind the now pantsless woman encouraged the stunt. Here, here's a and here's a credit a, a credit after it was posted online. The video. This makes me sick. She is aware of the law worldwide. We have a serious violent virus, and she thinks a G string will save her. No. She doesn't think a G-string will save her. She thinks that she's not going to die from the virus. So she, if she's forced to do this, she's going to make a joke of it by using a face thong. I salute her. 8445. I guess you can see. What can you see? News flash, it says. It's on. Well, I don't know where news. I believe the New York Post uh, is carrying this. Oh, they're carrying. I, I know they're carrying the story, but if they got the video too, they've got the video post. Oh, come on. It's the post. Of course they have it. Yeah. Woman uses her own thong as mask. That's the headline. You can find it on the New York Post website. 844-500-4242. Hit refresh on your dinner routine with HelloFresh. Right now, you can take advantage of a new limited time offer and see why HelloFresh is America's number one meal kit. HelloFresh gives you simple recipes and fresh ingredients sourced directly from growers and delivered to your door contact free. With more than 25 weekly recipes, there's something for everyone to enjoy, including family-friendly, vegetarian, and low-calorie options. Say goodbye to never-ending meal planning and prepping, and hello to new 10- to 20-minute meals, low-prep recipes, quick breakfasts, and lunches. Hello Fresh recipe cards are easy to follow with simple steps and pictures so you can get meals on the table in less than 30 minutes. They are delicious and they will uh, change your uh, boring dinner routine that you've had for God only knows how long. But let's be honest, there's another reason for going to HelloFresh.com and that's to avoid those moments in the supermarket like the woman in South Africa had where you have officious guards or just officious customers telling you you have to put on a mask or you're going down the wrong way of a one-way aisle. Oh, there's just so much nonsense. Do you really want to put up with that? Plus, by skipping the grocery store, you can save 40% on groceries, cut food waste by 25%, and stop overbuying. And your, the surveillance video of you will never end up on the New York Post website. Go to HelloFresh.com. It's great, great food, and it's a great price. Use code Howie to get 10 free meals, including free shipping for a limited time only. 
There's so many reasons to go to HelloFresh.com. Just go to HelloFresh.com and use code Howie10 for 10 free meals. HelloFresh.com. I'm Howie Carr. Don't touch that dial. Howie Carr will be back after this. Here are some rapid fire questions with Taylor Cormier. What would you eat for your last meal on earth? I'm fond of old favorites, childhood favorites. I'd go with my mother's beef and bean pie, followed by, for dessert, my grandmother's recipe for oatmeal cookies and a big glass of milk. Where is your favorite place to vacation? Home. I like being home. I like my house. I know where everything is. Yeah, I I just like being home. Favorite Frank Sinatra song to listen to? It's called Without a Song, and it's uh, on the album I Remember Tommy. It's a tribute to Tommy Dorsey, and it's a very swinging remake of the original orchestration. Favorite Frank Sinatra song to sing? My favorite one to sing is One for My Baby and One for the Road. It's a very sad song, uh, but it's somebody coming to the realization that this is the way life is, and they've come to terms with it. And I think it's something that everybody can connect to. It's, it's a great equalizer for everybody in the room. You've been hearing me talk about Super Beats for a while now, and I'm sure some of you are still thinking, why Super Beats? You could take it from me. The benefits of Super Beats are incredible. I take them twice a day, once in the morning when I get up, even before I have my first cup of coffee, and the other time in the afternoon, right before the show. It gives me a burst of energy. It's great for my blood pressure. It's good for circulation. It just makes you feel better. If that doesn't convince you, we can talk about the science behind Super Beats. Beats have nitrates. Nitrates support better blood flow, and better blood flow equals better energy and efficiency throughout the body and even supports healthy blood pressure. But Super Beats does so much more than eating regular beets and is unparalleled compared to other beet powders. Just one scoop of Super Beats has the nitric oxide equivalent of three whole beets. Go to superbeatsradio.com slash Howie and try out Super Beats yourself. www.superbeatsradio.com slash Howie. www.superbeatsradio.com slash Howie. What deal can we have, uh, Crazy Nancy? The Constitution does not say that a person can shout wolf in a crowded theater. But to be clear, you're not taking any arrows out of your quiver. You're not ruling anything out. Good morning. Sunday morning. Chocolate. 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 Candy. Chocolate. And then we have some other chocolate here. Consistently practice social distancing. Distancing. Why does AOC complain that you have not been grooming younger people for leaders? I don't know. You'll have to ask her. That was kind of sharp. I'm not a big needle taker. I mean, I had a hard time getting my ears pierced. I'm not a big needle taker. I, I mean, Mother Earth is angry. She's telling us. What, what do you think is causing this erratic behavior? I, I think that the president has always had erratic behavior. I have ice cream in my freezer. I guess that's better than having Lysol in somebody's lungs. Civilization, as we know it, is that safe? I don't drink, but I'm happy to have ice cream with anybody anytime. You're in credit to his dying day if ever he lives that long. Oh, Igar is back. 844-500-4242. That chick's G-string says 774 will save her exactly the same as that stupid vaccine that I received will save me, meaning not much. I agree. I agree having had the vaccine myself, but, you know, you, I just wanted the card so I could show it to people who have Trump derangement syndrome. And uh, Someone else says, uh, speaking of G-strings, how about a minute of silence for Fanny Fox, the Argentine firecracker? She was the one who was the mistress of uh, Wilbur Mills when he was the chairman of Ways and Means, a congressman back in the 70s. And he came up, he followed her up to the Pilgrim Theater in the combat zone in Boston. And uh, he chased, he was drunk, he was an alcoholic, and he chased her across the stage. And uh, he fell into the orchestra pit. He was he was so drunk. He was lucky he didn't kill himself. That was a famous Saturday night in the uh, 1970s in Boston. The Herald was there. The Globe was probably at a uh, at a cocktail party on Beacon Hill. Everybody wearing their bow ties and talking about how downscale the Herald was and how great busing was. Today's poll question is brought to you by the Eden Pure Air Purifier Thunderstorm. 
BOGO is back. This is one week only. It expires this Sunday, February 28th. So you better move fast if you want to get one uh, one uh, thunderstorm and get one free. To order, go to EdenPure.com and use code word Howie BOGO. Taylor, what's the poll question? What is the uh, w- response thus far? If Trump doesn't run, who would you vote for in the Republican primary? Ted Cruz, Ron DeSantis, or Rand Paul? And we know there'll be more. We just put those three in there. I'm voting for DeSantis. 77 would say DeSantis. 12% say Ted Cruz and 11% say Rand Paul. Okay. 844-500-4242. Rand Paul has been calling out Jen Psaki today about her her uh, tweets last year that she, she was she was against bombing Syria before she was for bombing Syria to, to just sum it up in a sentence. Ryan, you're next with Howie Carr. Go ahead, Ryan. You there, Ryan? Nope. Oh, yeah. Hey, Howie, how are we doing? Good. Um, yeah, I would just like to talk about uh, Janet Mills' budget plan and, you know, how in the state, like, we, we got $41 million for COVID, and I believe, but, like, I'm not sure, and now she's asking for another $110 million. I mean, monthly. We don't, our, you know, we don't have. And she's probably counting on Joe Biden happen. bailing her out, isn't she? Joe, they're, they're all, all the blue state governors are expecting Joe Biden to bail them out. Yeah. And I, that's something I also don't get is that the, the key, Keystone oil pipeline, like making gas go up and oil go up here in Maine. I mean, we get cold winters and, uh, a lot of Mainers, you know, it, it's hard. It's expensive. I, I, and, I understand I that, Ryan. I mean, don't you think, though, that the people that voted for Joe Biden should have been able to figure it out? I mean, we we all figured it out that the price of energy was going sky high if he was elected. Why couldn't they figure it out? Or did they not care because they have trust funds? I, I think that. And also, they just thought, you know, orange man bad. Let's get him out. Let's get him out. But wait a second. What about your wallet and your house? And, I, I, I couldn't uh, agree with you, you know, more. Being able to live. Like I was telling Grace earlier in the day, I mean, when the, when the economy is good, how do you vote a guy out of office? It's insane. It, it, it made no sense. I mean, this was just a, uh, the, the, the big lie, uh, perpetrated by the Democrat party slash the mainstream media. It's the same thing. They, uh, they just, uh, they got rid of a guy who knew what he was doing and they replaced him with a, uh, a nursing home patient. The White House is now an assisted living facility. I mean, it's as simple as that. Thanks for the call, Ryan. John, you're next with Howie Carr. Go ahead, John. You're right, Howie. You're right about the assisted living. Um, Joe Numbers, right? Why doesn't Peter, I'm sick of people saying Biden's doing this. He's doing nothing. Why doesn't Ducey ask him at at a press conference? Hey, Joe, how much is 37 times six? I guarantee you won't be able to answer it. My grandson's 10 and it's 222. Like nothing, right? 222. I got it. it. You got it. <laughs> but you might have a piece of paper there. <laughs> no, I don't. I, I, no, I, I could do that. I could do that stuff in my head. That's, that's, that's getting close to my limit, though, for what I could do in my head. You're right. He could never get that, John. Not in a million years. I, do you think he could uh, recite the alphabet backwards? He couldn't even recite the Pledge of Allegiance for the flag. <laughs> Thanks for the call, John. David, you're next with Howie Carr. Go ahead, David. Howie, you know, I mean, I really think that we need a litmus test for who is a swamp creature. I thought Ba was on our side, but towards the end, he really kind of exposed himself as a swampy. And now Durham, I mean, can we establish a, a way of knowing a tattoo or a blue light? How can we... <laughs> How do we uncover them? You know, I, I mean, it's, I, it's I don't know, really. David, I was misled by Durham because he did such a great job uh, prosecuting John Zip Connolly, the crooked FBI agent. I mean, he was totally into that. And he didn't even he didn't even set up his his base of operations in Boston, which is in those days was a pretty pleasant place to be. He 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 operated out of the Worcester federal courthouse because he didn't want to be corrupted by all the, uh, by all the, the shady, uh, whitey type people in, uh, in, in the FBI and the justice department in Boston. So I thought he was going to be legit, 
But you're right. I mean, he's been a real disappointment. I guess he's hanging in there and he's going to be the special counsel, but there's there's no indication he's going to get anything done. All he wanted for uh, Kleinsmith was six months, the guy who framed uh, Carter Page. And uh, the the uh, Obama judge wouldn't even give him six months. Just wouldn't give him a slap on the wrist. I'm Howie Carr. Maria's finest Italian restaurant in Portland, Maine is worth the trip for their amazing meatballs. I'm talking about the best meatballs I've ever had. Mm Mmm, outstanding. Maria's is owned and operated by the chef with many specialties, including homemade pasta and sauce. Known for their eggplant parmesan and seasonal favorites like their ricotta cavatelli, you won't leave hungry. They're located at 1335 Congress Street, Portland, Maine. Check out their extensive menu at mariasrestaurant.com. Visit today and be part of the family. If you're thinking about a new RV this year, I've got two words of advice for you. Buy early. This is Howie Carr. With the popularity of camping growing and manufacturer's constraints, the earlier you shop, the better. Our friends at Cold Springs RV are ready for you. They have an indoor heated showroom and heated units outside for winter browsing. They are also ready to sell your current RV on consignment. Learn more at coldspringsrv.com or visit Cold Springs RV in Ware, New Hampshire. He's the gaff that keeps on giving. Here's one minute of former Vice President Joe Biden. You teachers who touch them, figuratively speaking. Well, you've, I hope you touch them and tell them how much you love them, too. But my point is, my point is, when you when, when you touch their hearts. I get in trouble with some of the things I say, but I want to tell you, just be straight up. If I'm your president, with me, it starts here in my gut. Goes to my heart, and then I articulate it. And by the way, you know, I sit on the stand, and it get hot. I got a lot of, I got hairy legs that turn, that 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 that, that turn uh, um, blonde in the sun. And the kids used to come up and reach in the pool and rub my leg down, so it was straight, and then watch the hair come back up again. One point two billion. So you go ahead and you stack spaghetti sauce at a store in, 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 in a supermarket. You control the guy or the woman who runs the run, run brings out the carts on, 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 on a forklift. So I learned about roaches. I learned about kids jumping on my lap. And I've loved kids jumping on my lap. Everyone knows I love coffee and I'm not giving it up. I know that it would keep me up from time to time, but no longer with Balance 7. Balance 7 is a clear mineral liquid that you take three times a day to break down the acid in your body. When it does this, you'll feel better and me, I sleep better. Often, I'm asked to try products, and I can be very skeptical on their claims. But with Balance 7, it was all 100% true. With Balance 7, I didn't feel my energy starting to flag as the day wore on. Because by sleeping better at night, it also gave me mental clarity during the day. Balance 7 is a highly alkalizing concentrate. That means it reduces the acids that have built up in your body. Balance 7 is also known for reducing acid reflux and heartburn as it did for the mailroom manager. Balance 7 is made of safe, all-natural ingredients. If you suffer from heartburn, acid reflux, or sleep issues, you should give Balance 7 a try. Order the 8-ounce 12-pack supply at Balance7.com. Put in code word Howie, you will save $10 and you'll also get free shipping. Balance7.com. Normally, we give Fredo Cuomo a lot of attention, but lately, it's Governor Andrew Cuomo who's been grabbing headlines. Let's take a listen to some of his best moments. You're an essential worker, so go take a job as an essential worker. But the people are hiring because of... No, there are people hiring. You can get a job as an essential worker. So now you can go to work and you can be an essential worker and you're not going to kill anyone. The number is down because we brought the number down. God did not do that. Fate did not do that. Destiny did not do that. We're not going to make America great again. It was never that great. Because I can all see you are in masterful shape, buff even. It has a very nice floral bouquet. A little I detected lilac, hydrangea, tulips. What is it like to Tulips, yes. Floral bouquet. Because if that's who they are, and if they are the extreme conservatives, they have no place in the state of New York. I know he always asks me tough questions, and he always has an edge to them, but I like him anyway. Now that you're president, and you're saying there's nothing we can do to change the trajectory of the pandemic in the next several months, what happened to two months ago when you were talking declaratively about, I am going to shut down the virus? When President Trump was imposing travel restrictions in March, specifically on China, 
then candidate Biden called it xenophobic and fear mongering. So now President Biden is putting travel restrictions on people coming in from other countries. What word do we use to describe that? Well, I don't think that's quite a fair articulation. Why weren't President Biden and all members of the Biden family masked at all times on federal lands last night if he signed an executive order that mandates masks on federal lands at all times? But he was celebrating uh, an evening uh, of a historic day. Live from the Matthews Brothers Studios. 844-500-4242. Former President Donald Trump will use his highly anticipated speech at the Conservative Political Action Conference, CPAC, this Sunday to slam the Biden administration and highlight areas of policy disagreement. Excellent. The former commander-in-chief will direct the considerable attention to issues like illegal alien immigration, energy policy, the closing of schools, and identity politics. That means the Equality Act, which was passed yesterday in the uh, House of Representatives, the Equality Act, meaning inequality for, for women. All right, 844-500-4242. I, 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 don't, I hope he doesn't talk about the, the 2020 election anymore. It's just... I mean, what, what are you going to say at this point? Let's just, let's just, I mean, we're not going to for, ever forget what happened, I hope. And, uh, you know, Ron DeSantis, for one, is trying to make uh, mail-in voting even uh, more rare than it already is in the sunshine state of Florida. And the other states have got to get on board, too, to end this uh, massive fraud that's, ta- that's taken place. But, uh, you know, what's the point of uh, dwelling on it again? Just let, let's talk about the atrocities that are going on in this in this society right now. Janet, you're next with Howie Carr. Go ahead, Janet. Hi, Howie. Uh, I just have one comment to make. Read this stimulus package that's coming out, okay? Yes. Massachusetts ranks number fourth in, in wealth amongst the 50 states, okay? It's uh, median income, family income. We rank fourth. Yes. We rank 36th in unfunded pensions. Yes. Okay. What do you think happened to all that money? Now we're going to get rewarded for bad behavior. And right. Give all everybody downtown here and in the state house the money to buy more toys. Okay. That's it's it's going to be every state. That's what every state is going to get, Janet. It this is that's exactly what it is. It's a reward for uh, poor fiscal management and uh, irresponsible spending. Right. Exactly. I just wanted to add that. Yeah, and, and I mean the whole the whole bill that they're uh, that they're promoting. It's it has next to nothing to do with COVID relief, as if throwing money at uh, at a virus is going to solve many much of the problem. It's just about uh, taking care of uh, all these uh, Democrat constituencies, none of which really add anything to society. They just feather their own nests, and they uh, they they claim that they're being victimized or discriminations. Now now they're even claiming that uh, pollution is uh, somehow uh, it, they 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 call it. They need environmental justice. That just means another bunch of handouts to the same people who are getting handouts for every other damn thing. Eight four four five hundred forty two forty two. The war on poverty is over, as this old saying goes. Poverty won. Uh, thanks for the call, Janet. Sue, you're next with Howie Carr. Go ahead, Sue. Thank you, Howie. It's Sue from Groton. I just had a quick point. Um, everybody's made great points, but can't we start a petition of some sort? We, the American people, um, you know, abuse of power for all these Democrats. These guys are out of their mind. Yeah, but who would we present the petition to? Even if you could have a petition, Sue, who would you present it to? Chuck Schumer? Nancy Pelosi? Joe Biden's handler in a white coat? Yeah, but wouldn't like the justice, you know, the, the justice system, you know, adhere to that or no? Would that just not even go through? Sue, in the halls of justice, the only justice is in the halls, especially now. I mean, they... They've had some really good U.S. attorneys under Donald Trump, uh, Lelling in Boston, uh, Lausch in uh, Chicago, Durham, who was a, who was backed by the two Democrat senators in, in Connecticut. But he was a damn good uh, Senate, uh, U.S. attorney. They're all going to be replaced now, mainly by partisan Democrat hacks. 
mean, there's going to be even less justice now in the federal courthouses than there has been in the past when you had to uh, navigate with all these uh, left-wing mandarins that uh, Obama and uh, Clinton appointed. The, the, the Obama judges are even worse than the Clinton judges. And I'm sure the Biden judges are going to be even worse than the Obama judges, believe it or not. We gotta, we gotta take over the uh, political system again. We just gotta try to to ride this thing out and, you know, peel off uh, occasional occasional reps and senators who are afraid of losing or have uh, ethical qualms. Uh, that's I know that's a very that's rarer than the fear of losing, but sometimes sometimes they they come around for for whatever reason. I keep coming back to that Ronald Reagan quote that. Uh, I just didn't know until very recently. Sometimes when uh, uh, politicians uh, feel the heat, they see the light. That's what we got to do. Uh, Juan, you're next with Howie Carr. Go ahead, Juan. Yeah, hi. Thank you for taking my call. I wanted to discuss the misinformation. or sort of like I want to make sure that people understand that when you look at information given by someone who seems in authority, that it's not actually true unless you do your own research. You said that the Irish were actually slaves. I never I said that earlier this week. No, I you said did. they were, I said they were mistreated by the English. Well, but you said when they were brought here to the United States as, and you were saying how comparing that, that they should get reparations as well. I No, I did say they do. I, I did say they deserve reparations. If everybody else is going to get reparations, I think I should get reparations. Yeah, but they were hired. They were not, well, they were in de- they were in de- well no what about what about in Ireland in Ireland they were told they could only plant one crop the crop was potatoes guess what happened with the potatoes there was a potato blight so millions of Irish people died and the rest of them were uh, you know half the rest of the population was forced to go to the United States where they faced uh, this terrible discrimination from the people who are now big liberals like Charlie Parker his ancestors or Bill Wells ancestors. Why don't I get reparations, Juan? Well, and, and if, if uh, you know, if, if somebody who sure just immigrated here from Africa 10 years ago and has always lived under affirmative action where they got the advantage of the job over a person who's Asian or white, why should they get reparations and me not get reparations when my my parents or my ancestors were discriminated against? For sure that when someone seems that they are authority that you should always do your personal research. Well, I, I've done right. my personal yeah. research and I know that uh, my ancestors were oppressed a lot more so than a lot of the people who would be eligible for affirmative uh, for reparations now. Thanks, Juan. 844-500-4242. Alex, you're next with Howie Carr. Go ahead, Alex. Yeah, um, I want to discuss a couple things. One, why do, you, why do you always have to raise your voice when you someone disagrees with what you're saying for a fact? What did you say? Where'd he go? Did he hang up? 844-500-4242. Why I believe COVID derangement syndrome is real. This is a great co- a column I've got here. I got to get to it at some point here. If not today, then Monday. Joe, you're next with Howie Carr. Go ahead, Joe. Yeah. I, th- this uh, Paris Accords thing. You know, e- everything is something with this uh, these fancy names and nobody knows anything about it. And the climate change. Did you know that NASA's got photos? You know, if you watch TV, the moon landing, they didn't show you the polar ice cap. Thanks for the call, Joe. This is from a guy named uh, Donald Donald Bordeaux, 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 I guess it is. I'm convinced. I could list many reasons why I'm convinced humanity's fear of COVID nineteen springs from profound misinformation about this disease. I could expand my list of reasons why I believe the public's precautions are grossly disproportionate to this disease's actual threats and for why I regard the lockdowns, mask mandates, quarantine, quote-unquote hotels, and other restrictions to be tyranny, wholly unjustified by the facts. One doesn't have to have COVID in order to have a life that's meaningful and to suffer a death that's mournful. 
Yet most of the public media and governments have reacted to COVID as if the only deaths that matter now are COVID deaths, as if the only lives that matter are the lives of people with COVID, as if the only risk that matters, and hence the only risk worth reducing, is the risk of suffering from COVID. Isn't this true? Uh, the, this lack of proportion, this sudden ignorance that our lives are inescapably filled with many different risks that must be traded off against each other, this treatment of COVID deaths as being categorically worse than non-COVID deaths, are all combined with a blind faith that politicians and bureaucrats will use vast powers wisely, prudently, and effectively. This is what I call COVID derangement syndrome. I believe this syndrome to be real and deserving of a name that grabs attention. We must talk about this sometime in the future. Denise, you're next with Howie Carr. Go ahead, Denise. Hi, Howie. Um, I just wanted to speak out for my mother's generation. They were garment workers in the U.S. Yes. My my aunt used to call it sweatshops, quite frankly, in the uh in the area between Connecticut and Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. My mother says she remembers having to sit outside on the steps waiting for, for work to come in from New York. <clears throat> if there wasn't any for the day, they went home unpaid. So I guess they were independent contractors. They had to walk to work in the, in the stuff took over the bridge in South Hadley in freezing cold weather in the wintertime without transportation. Um, can I get reparations on behalf of uh, the fact that she was an abused worker? Yeah. You, well, you know, the first, the, the, the first people that they brought into the mills in places like Lawrence and Lowell back at the turn of the 19th century were, you know, Yankee farm girls. So the, I was just talking about the Yankees oppressing the Irish in, in New England, but the, the, the farm girls, they had the, the jobs that your, your ancestors later had in, in Holyoke, right? So they, they're oppressed too. I mean, is, the, is there anybody who's alive today who, can't, who couldn't look back if they could somehow see what, the, what happened to their ancestors that wouldn't see some kind of oppression worthy of reparations? Who's going to make, who's going to make the decision who gets reparations? Barack Obama says, uh, he tried to, he tried to pass reparations. That's what he told Bruce Springsteen. Well, I guess when they were between shots of tequila and uh, Bruce, uh, Barack Obama wouldn't get any reparations. Would he, he doesn't have any quote unquote slave blood as Al Sharpton and Jesse Jackson call it. Who was, who uh, who is going to make these determinations about who gets it? That Denise wants it. I want it. I talked to Sicilians who want it because they, they, they were oppressed. They, every, every, is there anybody in human history, any ethnic group in human history that wasn't oppressed at one time or another? Thanks for the call, Denise. I've been on balance seven for two weeks now, and I cannot believe my energy. I've been feeling so good that some days I go for three bike rides. Now you ask, what is balance seven? Balance 7 is a clear mineral liquid you take three times a day to break down the acid in your body. You feel better, and I personally sleep better. It also reduces acid reflux and heartburn. Often, I'm asked to try products, and I can be very skeptical of claims. But with Balance 7, it was all 100% true. With Balance 7, I don't feel my energy starting to flag as the day wears on. By allowing me to sleep better at night, I have more mental clarity during the day. Balance 7 is a highly alkalizing concentrate. That means it reduces the acids that have built up in your body over time. All you do is drink a small shot of the liquid three times a day and you will feel the difference. Balance 7 is made of safe, all-natural ingredients. If you suffer from heartburn, acid reflux, or sleep issues, give Balance 7 a try. Balance 7 is made in America and has sold more than 6 million units worldwide. Order any of the one-month supply and put in code word Howie. You'll save $10 and get free shipping. That's Balance 7, the number 7, balance7.com, code word Howie. I'm Howie Carr. You might want to keep a close eye on your fried clams. Howie Carr returns after this. Yum, yum, yum. 
Sig Sauer is hiring CNC machine operators, maintenance techs, quality inspectors, and more. Come to their drive through job fair on February 27th, 9 a.m. to noon in Exeter, New Hampshire, for on-the-spot interviews right from your vehicle. Learn more at SigSauerCareers.com. What deal can we have, uh, Crazy Nancy? The Constitution does not say that a person can shout wolf in a crowded theater. But to be clear, you're not taking any arrows out of your quiver. You're not ruling anything out. Good morning. Sunday morning. Chocolate, 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 candy, chocolate, and then we have some other chocolate here. Consistently practice social distancing. distancing. Why does AOC complain that you have not been grooming younger people for leaders? I don't know. You'll have to ask her. That was kind of sharp. I'm not a big needle taker. I mean, I had a hard time getting my ears pierced. I'm not a big needle taker. I, I mean, Mother Earth is angry. She's telling us. What, what do you think is causing this erratic behavior? I, I think that the president has always had erratic behavior. I have ice cream in my freezer. I guess that's better than having Lysol in somebody's lungs. Civilization as we know it is at stake. I don't drink, but I'm happy to have ice cream with anybody anytime. Now's the perfect time to get a pair of premium wireless earbuds, and Raycon is the way to go. Raycon started about half the price of other premium brands on the market, and they sound just as amazing. And Raycon's everyday E25 earbuds are their best model yet. You get six hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing, more bass, and a more compact design that gives you a comfortable, noise-isolating fit. Perfect for conference calls, video chats, or binging podcasts. Raycon was founded by Ray J, and celebrities like Cardi B and J.R. Smith have already given Raycons their seal of approval. I love my Raycons, and Grace loves hers, too. Howie, I love my Raycons. Best birthday gift ever. I listen to much better music than she does, though. Hey, that's not true. Now it's your turn to see what the hype is all about. Go to buyraycon.com slash Howie. That's buyraycon.com slash Howie. Buyraycon.com slash Howie. Uh, we are now effective today requiring all counties to close their indoor activities, their indoor operations uh, in the following sectors. Restaurants, wineries, tasting rooms. A few weeks ago, uh, I was asked to go to a friend's 50th birthday. I made a bad mistake. Instead of sitting down, uh, I should have stood up. Stay at home as much as possible. Put those social gatherings on hold, including extra care for Thanksgiving. Denver's mayor told you to stay home for Thanksgiving. Then he got on a flight to go see family out of state. Some people calling Supervisor Kuehl a hypocrite. Now, on November 24, she voted to ban outdoor dining. And on the very same day, she was spotted eating out. I take responsibility for trusting the word of the neighborhood salon that I've been to over the years. As it turns out, it was a setup. So I take responsibility for falling for a setup. This salon owes me an apology. What they do. Leave the gun. Take the cannoli. The Howie Car Show. Won the election. Hey, Jim, I'm Dave Marcus from The Federalist. When are you guys going to start covering Cuomo? When are you guys going to start covering Cuomo? No, I'm asking you a serious question. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. He killed 10,000 people. And he's accused of sexual assault. Let me just finish. And you guys want to talk about Ted Cruz. If you don't mind. So what? No, no. When are you going to start covering Cuomo? I'm going to finish this interview. Let me do it this way, maybe. Just because he's rude, I'll be rude. Oh, that was great. That's great. What's that guy's name from the Federalist? David Marcus? David Marcus, yeah. He just he just went up and busted. Uh, was that uh, Chris Cuomo or was that uh, Jim that Acosta? Was Jim Acosta. Jim Acosta. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, those, those fraudulent people, there's actually a great story that uh, came out. I got it in my stack of stuff here. I'll bring it up. Uh, let me see if I can find it here. It, uh, it was a list from, uh, from Newsbusters that they did, uh, just about how, how much all the crap that's been reported by, oh, here it is. CNN should shut up about all the misinformation. You know, CNN is like, uh, you know, cheerleading for this, this insane, uh, Orwellian attempt by the Democrats in Congress to deplatform all the conservative media outlets. 
Uh, November 16th of last year, CNN spent 23 minutes promoting a South Dakota nurse who claimed her coronavirus patients were so diluted that they denied the virus was real, even they even when they were dying. It turned out it was all fake news. She didn't know she wasn't she she didn't have any coronavirus patients. She made it all up. Uh, <laughs> Uh, September 16th, 2018, CNN spent 67 minutes promoting the New York Times unverified uh, tale that Brett Kavanaugh had exposed himself to Deborah Ramirez in his college years. I think it was, it wasn't it actually the New Yorker that reported that, but it was BS one way. The, uh, it was then sheepishly added that uh, Ramirez declined to be interviewed and friends say she does not recall the incident. They spent 67 minutes on something that the person that was allegedly the victim couldn't remember. CNN only spent three minutes on a correction. Uh, July 26, 2018, CNN reported that former Trump lawyer Michael Cohen would tell federal investigators that Trump knew the controversial Trump Tower meeting to get dirt on Hillary Clinton from the Russians before it took place. This was the meeting that was set up by Hillary Clinton's campaign, you may recall. It was all a lie, all a lie. Uh, in a sign of CNN's aggressive exploitation of the unverified Steele dossier, again, that's another thing paid for by the Hillary Clinton campaign, made up out of whole cloth. Newsbusters reported that in a review of five days of transcripts, found 77 separate mentions in five days of the absurd claim that there was a videotape of Trump paying prostitutes to urinate on one another. There are no such tapes. CNN's Thomas Frank in June of 2017 reported Congress was investigating a Russian investment fund with ties to Trump officials, especially Anthony Scaramucci. The report was later retracted as totally false. C Frank and two CNN employees resigned in the fallout. fallout. Earlier in June of 2016, CNN reported that in the impending congressional testimony, the former FBI director James Comey was going to refute Donald Trump. Trump's claim that Comey told Trump three times he was not under investigation. Remember that? They all kept saying that and they'd confirm the story. It was totally false. Comey confirmed that Trump was telling the truth. Good for David Marcus. Uh, John, you're next with Howie Carr. Go ahead, John. Hey, Howie, uh, with the last name like Green, with St. Patrick's Day coming up, I had to respond to your prior caller. Jason Riley, two years ago, the, he's a black fellow in the Wall Street Journal, right. wrote an excellent piece that I sent up to you, Lessons from the Rise of Americans Irish. And I sent that all around to my relatives two years ago, and we all knew what the famine was like, and you know we had heard passed down from our great-grandfather. But it's just an outstanding piece. So maybe with St. Patrick's Day coming up, you can tweet yeah. it out sometime. I forwarded it up to you on Twitter. Okay, but, I'll, uh, I'll check it out. It's, it's, He's a good. I like uh, Jason Riley. He does a pretty good job. He writes uh, one column a week for the for the Wall Street Journal. And and again, everybody uh, everybody can go back and uh, discover reasons to have a chip on their shoulder if you if you want to. If, if you don't want to get beyond it, someone just texted me and said, my ancestors, uh, some of them were killed fighting to free the slaves in the Army of the Potomac during the Civil War. Do I get reparations? That's a good question, too, isn't it? I'm Howie Carr. Great news. The Gen 40 heater is back and just in time for the really cold weather. Oil prices are going to go up. The Keystone XL pipeline has been stopped. 35 million gallons of oil a day are gone. Now there is a new moratorium on fracking on federal land. That affects natural gas. It was 10 degrees in parts of New England this past weekend. You need to start planning and that means you need a Gen 40 heater. Robert from the Cape says the Gen 40 performs like no heater I've ever used. It is remarkable. Remarkable. The Eden Pure Gen 40 makes you feel warmer than your furnace, and it also costs less to run. You may be working from home now, and you will need to pay close attention to your heating bills. The Eden Pure Gen 40 will pay for itself in a matter of weeks. Go to EdenPure.com and put in code word HOWIEDEAL to get $50 off the sale price. That's EdenPure.com and use code word HOWIEDEAL for an extra 50 bucks off. These heaters are in high demand, so go right now to EdenPure.com. And now, a minute of wisdom from Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Millennials and people and, you know, Gen Z and all these folks that come after us are looking up and we're like, 
the world is going to end in 12 years if we don't address climate change. And your biggest issue is your your biggest issue is how are we going to pay for it? And like this is the war. This is our World War Two. I think that there's a lot of people more concerned about being precisely, factually and semantically correct than about being morally right. But being factually correct is important. It's absolutely important. And if we work our butts off to make sure that we take back all three chambers of Congress, uh, rather all three chambers of government, the presidency, the Senate and the House in 2020, we can't start working in 2020. Here's one minute of Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. There's a lot of restaurants that are feeling the pain of racism, uh, where people are literally not patroning Chinese restaurants. Um, They're not patroning Asian restaurants because of just straight up racism around the coronavirus. So, you know, only in America does the president, when the president tweets about liberation, does he mean go back to work? When we, you know, have this discussion about going, going back or reopening, I think a lot of people should just say, no, we're not going back to that. One of the, I know it sounds banal. Do we know how long puppies are allowed to stay? Stay with their mothers after a dog has given birth? I don't. Uh, eight weeks. Wow. So the market has decided that women and people who give birth deserve less time with their children than a dog. So the whole premise of the Green New Deal is that we're screwed. You're listening to The Holly Carr Show. Hair loss is not one of life's more enjoyable experiences. If you're looking to fill in your hairline or reverse years of hair loss, DiStefano Hair Restoration will create a result that will be a transformative experience. The result of my IGT procedure was quite remarkable. I now have fuller, thicker hair so I can even wear it a bit longer. There are a few major decisions I've made in my life that I wish I did sooner. My hair restoration is number one. It was by far one of the best moves I've ever made. My hair looks awesome, and the confidence from having a full head of hair again has left me feeling great. I used to look in the mirror and dreaded seeing my ever-increasing ball spot. Now, when I look in the mirror, I see the new me with a full head of thick hair. For information on how to make the same choice I did, go to hairman.com slash Howie. What are you waiting for? More hair to fall out? Get the hair you've always wanted. Hairman.com slash Howie. Joe Biden accuses Trump of being a racist. But if you listen to Biden's comments, you would agree that he doth protest too much. If you take a test where you're taking cocaine or not, what do you think, huh? Are, are you a junkie? He's the first mainstream African-American who is articulate and bright and, and clean. And Madam President, we have predators on our streets. That kid wearing a hoodie may very well be the next poet laureate and not a gangbanger. They are beyond the pale, many of those people. God love you. You've been here all day. My Lord, you may feel like you're being incarcerated. We have no choice but to take them out of society. Poor kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids. I think the two-party system is good for the South and good for the Negro. They're going to put you all back in chains. Unlike the African-American community, with notable exceptions, the Latino community is an incredibly diverse community with incredibly different attitudes about different things. If you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, then you ain't black. Uh, We are now effective today requiring all counties to close their indoor activities, their indoor operations uh, in the following sectors, restaurants, wineries, tasting rooms. A few weeks ago, uh, I was asked to go to a friend's 50th birthday. I made a bad mistake. Instead of sitting down, uh, I should have stood up stay at home as much as possible put those social gatherings on hold including extra care for thanksgiving denver's mayor told you to stay home for thanksgiving then he got on a flight to go see family out of state 
some people calling Supervisor Kuehl a hypocrite. Now, on November 24, she voted to ban outdoor dining. And on the very same day, she was spotted eating out. I take responsibility for trusting the word of a neighborhood salon that I've been to over the years. As it turns out, it was a setup. So I take responsibility for falling for a setup. This salon owes me an apology. What they do. You're listening to the Howie Carr Show. Joe Biden's plagiarizing prowess proves one thing. He's been stealing all his life. Why is it that Joe Biden is the first in his family ever to go to a university? Why am I the first connect in a thousand generations? To be able to get the university. Why is it that my wife who's sitting out there in the audience is the first in her family to ever go to college? Why is Glennis the first woman in her family in a thousand generations to be able to get the university? No, it's not because they weren't as smart. Does anybody really think that they didn't get what we had because they didn't have the talent? It's not because they didn't work as hard. Or the strength, or the endurance. Or the commitment, of course not. It's because they didn't have a platform upon which to stand. It was because there was no platform upon which they could stand. I should have said, to paraphrase Neil Kinnock, it's the only time I didn't in all the times I've ever used it. Come on, man. You've been hearing me talk about Super Beats for a while now, and I'm sure some of you are still thinking, why Super Beats? You could take it from me. The benefits of Super Beats are incredible. I take them twice a day, once in the morning when I get up, even before I have my first cup of coffee, and the other time in the afternoon, right before the show. It gives me a burst of energy. It's great for my blood pressure. It's good for circulation. It just makes you feel better. If that doesn't convince you, we can talk about the science behind Super Beats. Beats have nitrates. Nitrate support better blood flow, and better blood flow equals better energy and efficiency throughout the body and even supports healthy blood pressure. But Super Beats does so much more than eating regular beets and is unparalleled compared to other beet powders. Just one scoop of Super Beats has the nitric oxide equivalent of three whole beets. Go to superbeatsradio.com slash Howie and try out Super Beats yourself. www.superbeatsradio.com slash Howie. www.superbeatsradio.com slash Howie. He's the gaff that keeps on giving. Here's one minute of former Vice President Joe Biden. You teachers who touched them, figuratively speaking, well, you, I hope you touch them and tell them how much you love them too, but my point is, my point is, when you when, when you touch their hearts, I get in trouble with some of the things I say, but I want to tell you, just be straight up, if I'm your president, for me it starts here in my gut goes to my heart, and then I articulate it. And by the way, you know, I sit on the stand, and it get hot. I got a lot of, I got hairy legs that turn, that, 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 that turn uh, um, blonde in the sun. And the kids used to come up and reach in the pool and rub my leg down. So it was tricky. Better strap yourself in. It's time for the Howie Carr Show. Is there something these Democrats aren't telling us? He is in real significant trouble joe biden it's time for more de- Mancho. the american recovery act research plan recovery plan uh, i don't know uh, live from the matthews brothers studios look at the difference in the handling of governor DeSantis versus andrew cuomo andrew cuomo gets emmys for sending your grandmother to your nursing home to her death okay governor DeSantis got more hell in florida for keeping beaches open now, we are stronger as a state and much happier as a people because of this leadership. Florida got it right, and the lockdown states got it wrong. A place where America's growing free and strong. Because when you come down to it, this is where we all belong. From swabs, hacks, and moon bats, beware. It's Howie Carr. 844 844- 54242 can i hear that cut of uh, david marcus from the federalist again uh you know going after jim acosta asking him when cnn's going to start reporting some real news rather than very fake news about the p tapes or about some nurse uh, who who made up a story about her coronavirus patients or about some some woman who was allegedly attacked by brett kavanaugh but she can't remember anything that happened can i hear that cut again won the election. Hey, Jim, I'm oh, Dave Marcus from The Federalist. When are you guys going to start covering Cuomo? Conducting an interview. When are you guys going to start covering Cuomo? We do, we do. No, I'm asking you a serious question. 
David. No, you don't. No, that. you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. He killed ten. He killed ten thousand people. And he's accused of sexual assault. Let me just finish and you guys want to talk about Ted Cruz. If you don't mind. So I'm what? Gonna, no, no. When you don't, don't mind, when I'm going to start gonna covering the interview. Do it, we can do it this way, maybe. Just because he's rude, I'll be rude. Sir, so let me just finish this interview, and then I'll talk to you, okay? If you don't no, mind. I, 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 no. I mean, no. Well, then, excuse me. I have yeah, what are you going to box me out? Yeah. You're not tall enough. Um, when are you going to start covering it, Tim? When's CNN going to deal with Cuomo? you are covering it. No, you're not. No, you're not. You're not. Well. You're not. Okay, we agree to disagree. You no, we don't our, agree to disagree. You chance, You're not covering Cuomo. I'm sorry, but what, what do you do think about what? What, so, what do you think about it? What do you have to say about Cuomo? I'm here to do a job right now. Oh, I'm oh, here oh! To talk to you. You have plenty to say about Trump. Nothing to say about Cuomo. I'm here to do a job. What do you have to say about Cuomo? Nothing. Nothing, right? You have nothing to say about Andrew Cuomo, the emperor of New York, and you have nothing to say. Okay. Then we see it. Then we see it. Then we see it. Yeah, that's good. I'm here to do a job. My job is lying. This was, he did. He lied. We are covering Cuomo. He said that's a lie. So his job is lying. I guess reporting nothing. Reporting things that don't exist, like the P tapes, the Russian collusion hoax. Brett Kavanaugh attacking women in dorms at, at Yale, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Time now for the chump line. Howie, now they want to make Election Day a holiday. Let's just make every day a holiday and give Democrats holidays off. I'm a genius. I thought Democrats already did have every day off, don't they? Especially since COVID-19. How many of the hacks that work at City Hall or Town Hall or uh, or or in the uh, the agencies go to work? How about the teachers? They have a holiday, right? Every day, it seems like. Somebody says, what about Kamala Harris? Her ancestors own slaves. Does she have to pay reparations? That's a, that is an excellent point. She, you know what? You know who owned slaves in Kamala Harris's family? The Irish. The Irish who were thrown out of Ireland by the English went to Jamaica and then oppressed the black slaves that had been brought over by the English who were also oppressing the Irish. How are you going to sort all this out? You're listening to the new and improved Chump Line service brought to you by the Baker administration. The next message will play in 632 minutes. <laughs> Stand by to leave your message. There are only 135,455 people ahead of you. That's the new improved Charlie Baker Chump Line. Also applies to the one in Maryland, the one in D.C., you notice the similarity between all these jurisdictions? They're run by Moonbat liberals. The Chump Line is brought to you by Matthews Brothers, America's oldest window manufacturer, this week enjoying the premiere of season 10 of Wicked Tuna, featuring America's favorite captain, Dave Marciano, and his pals Jay, Joe, and Angelica. Wouldn't it be great to be out there fishing with them for free, courtesy of Matthews Brothers? Stay tuned. Howie, oh, it's Charlie Parker. I'm taking a page out of the Joe Biden playbook. I have a doubt that I'm going to be bombing the state of New Hampshire to take the pressure off of the poor decisions I've made concerning, <laughs> well, concerning everything. Yeah, well, he, he settled for reopening the restaurants a little more and for saying that Fenway Park could open up with 12% of capacity. I wonder how much money the Red Sox can make if they can only have 12% of capacity, but they have to have all this normal security and paid details that they would have with, they had a full house. Do you think it really means much? I think not. With all this global warming going on, have you heard any updates on the spring migration of manatees to Boston Harbor? <laughs> yeah. I, I have yet to ever see a manatee down here in Florida. I see a sign 
every day on my bike that says watch out for boat boats watch out for manatees but i don't think they've seen any either the people in the boats attending the elite westminster boarding school two hundred and sixty thousand dollars a four-year degree from smith college to become part of the ruling class three hundred and twenty thousand dollars getting a janitor fired with a fake hate crime priceless multiple janitors fired and someone from the cafeteria too i believe altogether four people lost their jobs staffers not tenured faculty members staffers making short money and uh by a on because of a made-up hate crime by a member of the uber privileged class at smith college Oh, wait, Charlie Baker calling. Tiger Woods didn't crash his vehicle. He just had a bad user experience. <laughs> a bad user interface experience, Governor. Come on, get your cliches right. When Joe Biden heard about the bombing in Syria, his question was, do we know who did it? <laughs> Is this the first time in a long time that we have bombed a foreign nation and the president hasn't at least come out and made a brief statement to the to the press? I think it is. But then this is also the first time in a very long time that apparently we're not going to have a, uh, a live primetime State of the Union address. That old rhetorical question, don't you know who I am, kind of takes on a new meaning with Joe. What did he say last week? They said, what's it like to uh, be in the in the White House? And he said some mornings he wakes up and goes, where am I? He said that. Of course, he also said, we have the most extensive and ex- inclusive voter fraud organization in American history. And that's, that's brushed aside by the quote unquote fact checkers. It's just Uncle Joe. Everybody knows he's, he's only got half a mind to be president. Joe Biden here. I authorized those strikes in Syria because I want everybody to have a good paying union job. No joke. That's a bunch of malarkey. We once had a governor called Parker who was a real carnival Parker. He never took blame. His excuses were lame and he made our state so much darker. Boy, he sure did. Limerick guy's about a, my age. He remembers the old days, especially back in Western Mass. It was bleak. There were there was no jobs. Gil Barco packed up out of Springfield. They made the pumps for uh, Exxon Standard Oil, and they went to Greensboro, North Carolina, and there was just nothing, nothing going on. It's kind of like the way Charlie Parker has made the state today, all these years later. Looks like Connie Harris found out about the Syria bombing, just like Obama used to find things out by watching the news. <laughs> I think Obama actually said he he read it in the newspapers. Joe Joe, see it, when me when me TV or TV land breaks in with a bulletin, not very often, right? That's when he finds out something's going on. Howie, under S. Biden calling, I feel a little responsible for the airstrikes. I accidentally picked up the big guy's nuclear football thinking it was my iPhone. They thought I said bomb Syria when I actually said, where's my bong, Siri? (laughs) Oh, fart owl attack. (laughs) That's pretty good. I hadn't heard anything like that before on uh, on the Internet. Where's my bong, Siri? And guess what happens? Some bombs fall on Assad's brutal dictatorship, which John Kerry toasted because they served a particularly fine vintage of Bordeaux when he was in Damascus, don't you know? That was your last chump line message. Thank you for calling Howie Carr, you chump. All right, that's it for the chump line today. The chump line is the recorded voicemail message service of the Howie Carr Show. You can call and leave a message any hour between 1 and 4 Eastern each weekday. 
the chump line number if you wish to leave such a message, 842-844-4242. Excuse me, 844-500-4242. I'm getting it mixed up listening to Joe talk about a million billion. 844-500-4242. Press 2 for the chump line. Leave your message. We may or may not play it at this time each weekday. If you want to hear more chump line messages that you haven't heard already, you can go to Chopped Chumps. We post that around 7 o'clock every weeknight. Get Chopped Chumps wherever you get your Howie Car Show podcast. The Chump Line is brought to you by Matthews Brothers, America's oldest window manufacturer. This week, enjoying the premiere of Season 10 of Wicked Tuna, featuring America's favorite captain, Dave Marciano, and his pals, Jay, Joe, and Angelica. Wouldn't it be great to be out there fishing with them for free, courtesy of Matthews Brothers? Stay tuned. Oh, wait, Charlie Baker calling. Tiger Woods didn't crash his vehicle. He just had a bad user experience. 802 says, what do Howie, Grace, Kamala Harris, and Joe Biden all have in common? Answer, none of them knew we were bombing Syria. <laughs> Maybe Kamala did. Maybe. Probably not, though. You're right. 844-500-4242. I'm Howie Carr. You're tuned into the Howie Carr Radio Network. The Subaru of New England, Washington's birthday sales event lasts all month long. Feel the freedom in a brand new all-wheel drive 2021 Subaru Forester with standard EyeSight driver assist technology starting at $24,795 with 0.9% financing for up to 48 months. Or lease for only $239 per month for 36 months with $24,99 due at signing. Details at SubaruofNewEngland.com. Six Hour is hiring CNC machine operators, maintenance techs, quality inspectors, and more. Six Hour is offering competitive pay, multiple shifts, and for select positions, sign on bonuses. If you'd like to join America's most highly respected firearms manufacturer, come to their drive through job fair on February 27th, 9 a.m. to noon in Exeter, New Hampshire, for on the spot, socially distanced interviews right from your vehicle. Learn more at sixhourcareers.com. That's sixhourcareers.com. Here's one minute of getting to know Jared Diglio. What would be your last meal on earth? Pizza, cheese pizza, just regular cheese pizza. What drink are you going to have with your pizza? Uh, I gotta go Coke. You gotta go Coke with pizza. It's the perfect combination. Where's your favorite vacation spot? I'm a staycation kind of guy. I like just staying in my place, but if I had to go to a destination. Uh, I love Italy, especially Rome. If you could live in any state besides Massachusetts, which one would you choose? Nevada. Wide open land. People leave you alone. Plus, it's not that far from Vegas or LA. If you weren't in radio, what profession would you be in? Gigolo. Favorite comic book character? Spider-Man. He's been my favorite since I was a kid. He's the most identifiable of the superheroes. He's just kind of a normal guy who's got a lot of problems, but he's got to overcome it and save the day. Favorite Star Trek character? I love TNG, but I got to go with James T. Kirk. Dogs or cats? Neither. McDonald's or Burger King? McDonald's. Ice cream or cake? Ice cream. Sweet or salty? Sweet. Coffee or tea? Coffee. Everyone knows I love coffee and I'm not giving it up. I know that it would keep me up from time to time, but no longer with Balance 7. Balance 7 is a clear mineral liquid that you take three times a day to break down the acid in your body. When it does this, you'll feel better and me, I sleep better. Often I'm asked to try products and I can be very skeptical on their claims. But with Balance 7, it was all 100% true. With Balance 7, I didn't feel my energy starting to flag as the day wore on. Because by sleeping better at night, it also gave me mental clarity during the day. Balance 7 is a highly alkalizing concentrate. That means it reduces the acids that have built up in your body. Balance 7 is also known for reducing acid reflux and heartburn as it did for the mailroom manager. Balance 7 is made of safe, all-natural ingredients. If you suffer from heartburn, acid reflux, or sleep issues, you should give Balance 7 a try. Order the 8-ounce 12-pack supply at Balance7.com. Put in code word Howie, you will save $10 and you'll also get free shipping. Balance7.com. Watch out, Joe Biden. You might have to share some of the spotlight because your running mate, Senator Kamala Harris, is certainly grabbing some attention for her own gaffes. She was part of our culture. Yes, we wear those notorious B.I.G. T-shirts with a lot of pride. Best rapper alive, Tupac. <laughs> he's not alive. You say he lives on. He's not alive. I know. I keep doing that. Uh, Harris 
administration together with Joe Biden as the president of the United States, the Biden-Harris administration. <laughs> we have, have got to, in America, reimagine how we are accomplishing public safety. And let's be clear, there is no vaccine for racism. Let's just say there is a vaccine that is approved and even distributed before the election. Would you get it? Well, I think that's going to be an issue for all of us. Um, I will say that I would not trust Donald Trump. He didn't come here to be made sport of. Funny how? I mean, funny like I'm a clown. I amuse you. I make you laugh. What do you mean funny? Funny how? How am I funny? Howie Carr is here to stay. Today's poll question is brought to you by the Eden Pure Air Purifier Thunderstorm. BOGO is back. This is one week only and expires this Sunday, February 28th. You buy one. And you get one free. That's the way it works. That's a great deal. And it's a great product. To order, go to EdenPure.com and use code word Howie Bogo. What's the poll question, Taylor? And what are the results thus far? If Trump doesn't run, who would you vote for in the Republican primary? Ted Cruz, Ron DeSantis, or Rand Paul? I'd vote for DeSantis. 74% say DeSantis is their guy. 14% say Rand Paul. 12% would vote for Ted Cruz. Let's play a, a cut from uh, Ron DeSantis. He's the uh, governor of Florida, and the, the CPAC conference is in Orlando this year. So uh, he was the he's one of the logical speakers. So here he is talking about uh, the plan to uh, flood the country with uh, third world indigents. Cut five. We reject open borders and instead support American sovereignty and the American worker, building a movement on the foundation of amnesty and cheap foreign labor. Late labor is like building a house on a field of quicksand. Uh, well put. Meanwhile, uh, Ted Ted Cruz, you know, he's he's taken a lot of crap over his stupid uh, attempt to, or his trip to Cancun. He made l sport of it earlier, but then he then he knew how to get uh, get in good with the the pro Trump audience. This is what he said. Cut ten. And they look at Donald J. Trump, and they look at the millions and millions of people inspired who went to battle fighting alongside President Trump, and they're terrified. And they want him to go away. Let me tell you this right now. Donald J. Trump ain't going anywhere. <laughs> he ain't. And he's going to be speaking on, uh, on Sunday, and he's going to attack Joe Biden according to the reports coming out of Mar-a-Lago. You want to know how crazy the uh, the left wing is? You know, they, you would think they would love the Washington Post, everything about the Washington Post. I mean, they made up all that fake stuff about uh, the, the Russian collusion hoax. Democracy dies in darkness. Oh, they can't get enough of the uh, left wing uh, slant, the BS. They're owned by Dr. Evil. But uh, now that now one of the now one of their reporters is being denounced. White House correspondent Xiang Min Kim. What happened was a, uh, a reporter for the Huffington Post took a photo of uh, the Washington Post reporter showing co uh, Senator Lisa Murkowski a tweet from Neera Tanden, President Biden's nominee for Office of Management and uh, Budget Director. Murkowski hadn't seen this tweet where, uh, where Tanden says, that in, tw in 2017, that Murkowski was, quote, high on your own supply. You know, we know, and everyone knows this is all garbage. I don't know what she's talking about. So the Washington Post reporter shows this to Lisa Murkowski. It's, it's basic reporting. It's good reporting, actually. She tracked her down on the, in the halls of the Capitol. And uh, Murkowski said, high on my own supply. That's interesting. Should I ask her my own supply of what? See, that goes to show how much homework I still have to do on her if I didn't even know she'd sent out a tweet about me. So the left wing is going, how dare the Washington Post go over and give information to the orange man bad, as if Murkowski is a fan of orange man bad, right? So, so, they've, been, so they've been abusing this uh, woman ever since then. 
Kim later posted some of the, she's, uh, she's Korean. Kim later posted some of the abuse she had received via email due to the photo. One email she shared told her to go back to China, B word, even though she's of Korean descent. Go back. This is the, this is the celebrate diversity crowd. This is why I spelled Democrat, D-E-M-O-K-K-K-R-A-T. Go back to China, bleep. <laughs> Whatever happened to celebrating diversity? I, I, it, should she get some reparations? The, uh, the, the Washington Post reporter. She, she asked a legitimate question. It was a, it was a, a random act of journalism. And uh, this is what happens. She's tracked down by a left-wing hit squad from the Huffington Post, which exposes her for engaging in journalism. And she is attacked. 844-500-4242. We will be right back with Police Blotter Facts Friday. I'm Howie Carr. It's a new year and time for a new you. DiStefano hair restoration changed my life and they can change yours too. My production director said when he saw a recent pic of me that you look great, like Benjamin Button. You're getting younger. That's quite the compliment. And I owe it to DiStefano hair restoration and Dr. Chris Hines. Many wait years before they get the hair restoration they deserve. Stop waiting and just get it done. You won't regret it and you'll ask yourself, why did you wait so long? You can see my before and after photo shoot on their site at hairman.com, hairman.com. DiStefano Hair Restoration is taking all the necessary precautions to keep you safe during your visit. They also offer virtual consultations. Go to hairman.com today and schedule your free consultation and get the hair you deserve and have always wanted. Dr. Highness took care of me and will take care of you too. Visit them today at hairman.com. Hello, all the participants of tonight's event. We can overcome the deadly virus. We can reward, reward work. We will reclaim our credibility. The pandemically, the, the pandemic, excuse me. We need all our strength to, preserve, to persevere. Rural versus urban. Or, or, rural versus urban. America, America built a, of decency. I took it to instill public confidence in the vaccine. President-elect Harris took it, took hers today for the same reason. Everybody, everybody is entitled to be treated with decency. All my colleagues I serve with in the House and the Senate up here. James Joyce, James Joyce was said to have told a friend. I understand they worry about their jobs. I understand, like my dad, they lay in bed staring at the at night, staring at the ceiling. Yes, yes, yes. God love you, man. You, you're a one-horse pony. Come on, give me a break, man. Come on. Now's the perfect time to get a pair of premium wireless earbuds, and Raycon is the way to go. Raycon started about half the price of other premium brands on the market, and they sound just as amazing. And Raycon's everyday E25 earbuds are their best model yet. You get six hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing, more bass, and a more compact design that gives you a comfortable, noise-isolating fit. Perfect for conference calls, video chats, or binging podcasts. Raycon was founded by Ray J, and celebrities like Cardi B and J.R. Smith have already given Raycons their seal of approval. I love my Raycons, and Grace loves hers, too. Howie, I love my Raycons. Best birthday gift ever. I listen to much better music than she does, though. Hey, that's not true. Now it's your turn to see what the hype is all about. Go to buyraycon.com slash Howie. That's buyraycon.com slash Howie. Buyraycon.com slash Howie. What impact do you think Russian interference had in the election? I think it uh, was one of the major contributors to the outcome. Years from the 2016 election, and Hillary Clinton still can't accept the results. Take a listen. You know, you can run the best campaign. You can be the person who gets the nomination. You could lose. I believe he knows he's an illegitimate president. He knows. The one thing that Trump 
is fearful of uh, when it comes to his being president is that finally we will see how illegitimate his victory actually was. This wasn't on the level. Flashing videos that appear and then disappear and they're on the dark web and nobody can find them. It's like applying for a job and getting 66 million letters of uh, recommendation and losing to a corrupt human tornado. Um, so maybe there does need to be a rematch. I mean, obviously, I can beat him again. So of course he's obsessed with me. <laughs> what does the mainstream media really think of you? Banjos, please. Bigots and racists. Credulous, rude, ten tooth working class, angry, white. Aging, angry, white guys. Angry, white man. Angry, white, old men. These angry, white men. The angry, white vote. All these angry, white people. Too many of them want to see the people who are begging for change put down. Racist. Racist, bigoted base. It's white privilege, it's white nationalism, it's anger, it's rage, it's insult. They tolerate a certain level of racism. One in three Americans are racist. The credulous boomer rube demo. Y'all, y'all, y'all elitists for them. <laughs> you, you elitists with your geography and your maps and your spelling, <laughs> even though my your math and your reading. <laughs> yeah, you're reading. They're too far gone. Look at them. They're high-fiving each other and they're going to go back, you know, to the Olive Garden and to their the Holiday Inn that they're staying at in the Garden Marriott, and they're going to have some drinks. Live from the Matthews Brothers Studio. 844-500-4242. That's the toll-free number of the Howie Car Show. It's Friday evening, the third hour of the show, the bottom of the hour. You know what that means. It's time for... Whenever the laws of any state are broken, a duly authorized organization swings into action. All week long... We ask the listeners to send in their funny items or stories from their local daily or weekly newspaper or website now. And any story involving the local constabulary, the police department in your city or town or something you see online from some other place, all it has to be is humorous or funny. And we ask you to send it to grace at Howie Car Show, grace at howiecarshow.com, I should say. Or you can fax the stories to us. We still have a fax machine, 857-284-8864. And at this time, it can come from your local daily or weekly paper. It can come from the local column that the police author themselves, the police log or the police blog, depending on what the paper is. It can come from a standalone story. It can come from anywhere. Just send it to grace at howiecarshow.com. And at this time, each Friday evening, Grace reads the funniest entries of the week, in her opinion. And the two best entries of the week, in her opinion, get a nice prize. What do they get this week, Grace? Well, you know what, Howie? I'm going to the 110 Grill tonight for my big dinner. And since the prize for that, for signing up, was a Plug Uglies, I think the winners of this will get a Plug Uglies. Sounds good. All right. Here are the runners up. They do not win a prize. And I'm going to preface this by saying a huge amount of these stories this week just happen to come from one state in particular, and that's okay. And we're not judging that state. <clears throat> Florida. Drunk Florida man arrested for DUI admits, damn, I'm buzzed. This is out of Charlotte County, Florida, Howie. I don't know how close that is to you. I think it's on the other coast. Oh, sure. <laughs> so you always say. A man was arrested in Charlotte County for a D DUI after leaving the White Elephant Bar. The White Elephant? Isn't that Could the name? The pink Elephant Bar. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't the White Elephant on Nantucket? A Charlotte County deputy pulled a tan Lincoln town car over for careless driving on Monday. When the deputy asked the driver for his license, Charles Kensel handed over his credit card instead. The deputy explained that his license was needed, but Kensel said, see, I told you that's it. 
After he was able to produce his license, Kenzel told the deputy he had four rum drinks at the White Elephant Bar. He was supposed to tell him, nah, just put however much you want on that. Yeah, it's a okay, couple officer. of beers. Come on. He must have really been buzzed. I By, know, speaking of which, the White Elephant I has, has just expanded to Palm Beach around the I corner know. from where I live. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I don't think he was right drinking there, there, though, Grace. But Howie, th- th- you're absolutely right, because what people usually do is what it, it's like when when you ask a guy, um, uh, you know, how tall he is, or if you ask someone a question, they always usually either people downplay things. You know what I mean? They're not going to you're not going to start with what you had. So if he's saying four rum drinks, that's got to mean like what? Eight at least at, at least. least on the way to jail. Kensel said, damn, I am buzzed and I shouldn't have been driving after drinking. Do you forgive me? According to the re- arrest report. <laughs> He also repeatedly told the deputy his name. Why didn't they have a designated elephant to take him home from the white elephant? That's a very good question. Florida man blacked out before using scissors to sever his wife's lover's parts. If he blocked, if he blacked out, what happened to the guy he did it to? What do you think? Do you think he blacked out too? He wished he blacked out. Every time we play that sound, it's like, it's so bad for every situation. A Florida man who allegedly used a pair of scissors to cut off his wife's lover's privates claimed he blacked out during the attack. Alex Bonilla is set to plead guilty Thursday. Um, He attacked in the victim's mobile home in Bell. Where's Bell, Howie? Nowhere near me. It was was a a, grace. Sounds like a panhandle town. Grace, you have to you have to use the modern terminology. He did not slice off anything. It was a it was a gender reassignment. Oh, this is like a Mr. Potato Head situation. Yes, exactly. Bonilla barged into the victim's home and threatened him with a handgun and a metal pipe. He tied up the man to his bedroom and said, You are not going to die, but you are going to have something to remember this for your whole life. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be, I shouldn't be laughing. And he was that. right. Sometimes you make statements that are just, you know, uh, hyperbole. They're untrue. In this case, he was telling the the exact truth of the matter. He always will remember this day. But this is what's so weird about it. Like, I'm not laughing what the guy did, but just the way he's talking to this person, the victim. He said, this is normal. You will not die today. Is it to you? And then Bonilla took a pair of scissors and began cutting. Um, and the guy said, the guy said, wait a second, Bonilla, if you let me go, I'll buy you four rum drinks at the White Elephant. Yeah, exactly. Longhorn Steakhouse customer in Florida arrested for harassing customers. These are, we're only on Florida's right now. Okay. Where was the for Longhorn this Steakhouse? Does have to do with masks? This, no, actually, Taylor, it doesn't even have to do with shoes. This is at a Lady Lake, Florida. These are not any, these, these are not towns near me. These are not towns that you're familiar with. <laughs> the, okay. A woman was recently arrested after a bizarre series of events at a Florida restaurant. The woman's behavior was apparently so disruptive. This is how you know, Howie, that she was behaving badly. The restaurant had asked her to leave without paying her check. Wow. You're right. Yeah. Heather Hirsch was at a Longhorn Steak House restaurant in Lady Lake on Tuesday night. On a Tuesday, when officers arrived in the scene, they reported. I thought found Tuesday it. was a health night. For most people, it's a get your life together <laughs> night. You know, that's the night you do your laundry and try to figure things out. Um, so when officers arrived in the scene, they reportedly found Hirsch barefoot in the bar and acting erratically. According to reports. Hirsch see, you know, worked- see, Florida, you don't have to wear masks anymore in most bars and restaurants, but you do have to wear shoes. That that requirement has not gone out the window. And here you said it was free America selling us a false bill of goods. Uh, according to the reports, Hirsch had ordered a meal and drinks at the restaurant earlier in the night. After her meal, she allegedly took off her shoes and began walking around the restaurant asking other patrons for cigarettes. A Longhorn manager reportedly told police that the restaurant didn't care if Hirsch paid her bill. They just wanted her to leave. When she refused, she was... Um, brought into custody that's quite a sight someone bumming cigarettes while barefoot at a bar Ugh. i never cared much for the longhorn steakhouse 
Um, guys, Police Blotter Facts Friday is brought to you by Pantadosi Baking Company, celebrating over 100 years of baking excellence since 1916. I love Pantadosi bread. It is the best bread around, and you can usually find it at your local markets, so make sure you check it out. You know, the thing about the Longhorn Steakhouse, they have, they, that's one of those places that has Texas toast, which sucks compared to Piantadosi. Not as bad as dinner rolls. Howie, Texas toast or Texas toes? I guess in her case, uh, after, Uh, (laughs) after she had her Texas toast, she went, uh, took off her shoes and people could see her Texas toes. Yeah, and there is no bread out there as good as Pantadosi. I agree with you on that. Um, A driver in carpool lane in California busted with a masked mannequin in passenger seat. That's good. He should have been given a a Comet Gold Award for that. A driver in California. Was this in one of those high, high occupancy vehicle lanes? Yeah, so a driver in California was busted driving around in the carpool lane with a lifelike mannequin riding shotgun. The mannequin was even wearing a face mask. A California Highway Patrol officer pulled up alongside the Toyota Tacoma and thought something was odd when he noticed the passenger wasn't moving. He initiated a traffic stop over suspicion that the driver's tinted the passenger The dark. passenger had come from the white elephant, Grace. That's why he wasn't moving. <laughs> well, you he know was what makes comatose. Me think of? Howie, this guy was good. He was clever. I mean, he had a really good mannequin, but it's kind of like in Ferris Bueller when he has the mannequin. You have to have a way of having it move just a little bit, even if it's just like a little something attached to the arm. So there's some movement in it because that's what tipped off the police. They said, why is this passenger so still? And that's why they pulled him over. Just an idea. In uh, in Massachusetts, when Mike Dukakis was governor, it was fashionable to have a uh, Mike Dukakis dummy for the HOV lanes. <laughs> The California Highway Patrol shared an image of the mannequin, which had on a pair of reading glasses and was wearing a red flannel shirt, a Cleveland, oh, a Cleveland Indians hat. So that's Oh, that's a hate crime. And a face mask. It even had wrinkles on its face and gray hair sticking out from underneath the cap. <laughs> By far one of the best dummies we've ever seen, they said. At least he was following CDC guidelines by wearing his face mask. He was fined $490, Howie. Oh, that seems really unfair. And wait till you hear this story. New blood alcohol record recorded by highly intoxicated intoxicated motorist. I, I saw this one. Is that Ted, Oregon? And what? He, he broke the all-time world's record set by Ted Kennedy every night for the last <laughs> 50 years of his life. But you have to remember, like, I understand he broke the record, but this is just from people who've been breathalyzed like we you know what i mean there, there's a lot of people out there who could probably top it they just never yeah, but remember that remember the guy who who died last year in colorado they claimed it was a covid death and then it turned out that he'd blown a 0. 0.55 that was his I blood d- alcohol level and and they yeah. he died of a, he died of alcohol poisoning but what was this guy's tell tell people Point, what 0. 0.77 and what appears to be a new record for extreme D- dui um, a motorist blood alcohol content was measured at 0.77, more than nine times the legal limit, after he crashed his car following a short police chase. According to investigators, the driver, who has not been named pending the filing of criminal charges, was involved in a hit and run um, in a city 125 miles away from Portland. Upon locating the suspected the suspect vehicle, a Ford Explorer, cops sought to pull over the driver, but he sped away. A short chase ended when the man who cops described as highly intoxicated lost control of his car and crashed into a concrete barrier. So they brought him to the hospital and he was 0.778. I would think you'd be dead at that point. I, if, if, if there's somebody from the emergency room was listening, can you text us what the usual fatal level is? I would think it would be. 5 or something like that, considering the guy in Colorado was dead with a 5-5. Yeah, but I think it's one of those things where everyone's so different. By the way, Howie, I have one last local one before um, we go to break. Uh, BAC levels above 0. 0.40 are potentially fatal. Anything above 4-0, okay. And so he was, he was, he was almost that. double the potentially fatal level. So this is a story out of Boston. He was charged with impersonating a Kennedy, too. Boston cyclist attempts to bike over a frozen Charles River and falls through. (laughs) Boston cyclist Lucas Brunel took a spill into the Charles River after attempting to bike over the semi-frozen river last week. 
Brunel, stay in the bike lanes, Charlie. That's why we have them for you. And now you're going across the river. He said, I ride my bike the same way I trade stocks. It's my nature to take high risks and high return. That reminds me of one of my favorite videos on the internet when they're interviewing the people who are running in the snow. Yes. <laughs> She's like, oh, it's just so soft and it's so nice. It's good for the knees. And she takes off and just takes a digger. Yeah, she goes, it's actually better to run in this. It's actually a lot safer. You get a lot of traction in the snow. <laughs> she just wipes out. The plunge into the Charles didn't stop Brunel from hopping back on his bike and pedaling over more ice as he was spotted by... Um, he was He was spotted by local onlookers. Um, Howie, my two winners are fabulous. They're really good, and I cannot wait to read them. All right. Uh, 413 says, if this guy were the boss, he'd be all set. Yeah. I, I love the tweet that, that Donald Trump Jr. sent out that uh, when with uh, the story about uh, Springsteen beating the rap, but he said liberal white privilege. That's exactly what it was, liberal white privilege. If you haven't tried Super Beats Heart Chews, you are missing out on a really great product that's very tasty and it's very good for you. It's good for you. I'm your, having one right now. It's good for your heart health. I'm getting some out of the bag right now. I'm getting one out for me and uh, one for McKay here who works with me. Here they are. They're, they're just like the little candies uh, wrapped in foil, but they're really good for you. They're not bad for you like candy. Super Beats Heart Chews combine non-GMO beets with a powerful new ingredient, grapeseed extract. The grapeseed extract used in Super Beats Chews has been clinically shown to be twice as effective at supporting normal blood pressure as a healthy lifestyle alone. It's great for your blood pressure. It's good for your circulation and your heart health. Better blood pressure means more energy the way nature intended without the jittery caffeine or stimulants. Now you can take just two delicious Choose a day, anytime, anywhere, and get the blood pressure support you need and the energy you want. I take one in the morning when I wake up uh, before I go out and do a little exercise on the bike, and then I take one in the afternoon to keep me going, keep me uh, sharp, I hope, uh, during the show. Do what I did and support your heart health today with delicious Super Beats Chews. Get your Super Beats Chews today at superbeatsradio.com slash Howie, and when you buy two bags, they'll Throw in the third one for free. That's superbeatsradio.com slash Howie. I'm Howie Carr. You're listening to the Howie Carr Radio Network. President Trump is clearly ethically unfit and intellectually unprepared to be the president of the United States. And I support uh, Chair, Chairman Woman. In the coming weeks, the bill, the House will hold hearings. Of, uh, Congresswoman Harris, Congressman, Senator, did I say Senator? Senator Harris. He's our president, and I would rather he not be taking something that has not been approved, especially in his age group and in his, shall we say, weight group, what is morbidly obese, they say. So completely inappropriate in so many ways uh, that it's almost a given. It's like a child comes in with mud on their pants or something. It, it, that's the way it is. They're outside playing. That's what it. He comes in with doggy do on his shoes and everybody who works with him has that on their shoes too. But I only will do that if you tell me that this legislation is worthy of George Kirby's name. This movement of that moment of national anguish Hair loss is not one of life's more enjoyable experiences. If you're looking to fill in your hairline or reverse years of hair loss, DiStefano Hair Restoration will create a result that will be a transformative experience. The result of my IGT procedure was quite remarkable. I now have fuller, thicker hair so I can even wear it a bit longer. There are a few major decisions I've made in my life that I wish I did sooner. My hair restoration is number one. It was by far one of the best moves I've ever made. My hair looks awesome, and the confidence from having a full head of hair again has left me feeling great. I used to look in the mirror and dreaded seeing my ever-increasing bald spot. Now, when I look in the mirror, I see the new me with a full head of thick hair. For information on how to make the same choice I did, go to hairman.com slash Howie. What are you waiting for? More hair to fall out? Get the hair you've always wanted hairman.com slash Howie. Uh, I want to be clear in how I characterize this. This is a, mostly a protest. Uh, it, is not, uh, it is not, generally speaking, unruly. 
That ain't a riot, what we're seeing right now in Minneapolis. They are strictly principled anti-fascists. No organization is perfect. There was some violence. Any reasonable person would say we shouldn't be destroying other people's property, but these are not reasonable times. I argue to you tonight, all punches are not equal morally. Thank goodness for the looters, man. And please show me where it says that protests are supposed to be polite and peaceful. Do not get it twisted and think that, oh, this is some something that has not never happened before. And then this is so terrible. And where are we and these savages and all of that? This is how this country was started. People get mad and people get sick of it. People are risking COVID to explain to this country that we're fed up. Every time you turn around, expect to see me. There's one time you'll turn around and I'll be there. The Howie Car Show. We're back with the, the second portion of Police Blotter Facts Friday. This is where we have the winners. Do you have any runners up, Grace, before we get to the winners? I, I think I want to get to the winners, Howie, because they're a little bit longer and they're really okay. good. Man allegedly found drunk naked inside huge pipe organ. A pipe organ? Yes. Where? You mean his pipe organ was in the pipe organ? Yes, technically, yes. Uh, Queensland. Oh, in Australia? Yes. Crikey. A man allegedly found drunk and naked lying inside of one. How many Fosters did he have, mate? Well, actually, we do get to that. It's not Fosters. Um, One of Queensland's biggest pipe organs has been granted bail. Freemason Glenn Langford is accused of damaging the million-dollar organ. Why is he identified as a Freemason? I don't know. Must have been some meeting. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, it's weird. They keep bringing it up. There's some more people that are going to need reparations when they start passing them out. Freemasons. They've been blamed like for everything. Identifying somebody by their uh, religion or their, yeah. their 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 club. It's like a club, isn't it? More than a religion. Yeah, but, but he broke Elks it. Lodge member. It's a heritage. Because it's Knights a, of Columbus. He damaged the million dollar. Kamala Harris pipes. doesn't like the Knights of Columbus, you know. He damaged the million dollar organ pipes of Brisbane's Masonic Mem- Memorial Center during a night he'd rather forget. He allegedly broke into the heritage listed building and flooded it. Is he a, is he a Freemason or did he just break into the Freemason? Did he flood that organ with his organ? No, he he's he's a Freemason, I believe. Authorities found him in the Grand Hall along with clothes, a remote controlled police car and a toy gun. Mr. Langford was arrested naked Wednesday night lying amongst the organ pipes. He is accused of damaging a decorative wall and breaking several organ pipes. Now, this is where it gets interesting. Mr. Langford's it's lawyer, been interesting, Grace. <laughs> Mr. Langford's lawyer, said his client downed a bottle. I don't get this part. He says his client downed a bottle of Johnny Walker and had good intentions to hand out cheeseburgers to the homeless. <laughs> At the Masonic Hall? Were they the homeless were at the Masonic Hall? <laughs> don't we all, though? Like, deep down, don't we all have the good intention of handing out cheeseburgers to the homeless? <laughs> he seems like a nice guy, though. He said he'd been drinking heavily, and uh, he was just sad about a breakup. And um, when they asked him when the seven news... It's Australia. Him, Shouldn't he have been handing out shrimp from the Barbie to the to the homeless rather than said, cheeseburgers? This was his explanation. He said, things just got a little loose. I was out of it. I apologize to all the righteous Freemasons everywhere. <laughs> Okay, I got to go to the next one really quick. Woman in wheelchair robs, threatens to kill everyone at downtown Jacksonville Bank. This is again, Florida. A woman in an electric wheelchair robbed a downtown Regions Bank. It's the first one I had ever seen where a suspect is in an electric wheelchair and does what she does. The lieutenant said, Kenyita Lucky Gordon was arrested. after. What's her first name? Kenyita. Kenyita. Okay. She was in a wheelchair with a short blonde hair, wearing a black and silver COVID nineteen mask, and covered in a red blanket. She, when they, Howie, when they went to go find her, yeah, after the robbery, she was a mile away. So she was speeding on that electric. Was she really wheelchair. in the wheelchair? Or did she just steal someone's wheelchair to use? Now that's a case for Inspector Carr. I'm Howie like Carr. Like most companies, we here at Matthews Brothers are pretty proud of our website. Not so proud that we go around asking total strangers to visit it or anything like that, but proud enough to ask you to. 
Now, you might think that's the dumbest thing I've heard all day. Why the heck would I want to visit MatthewsBrothers.com? Where's the fun in that? And we'd be like, you don't have to make it personal, dude. There's lots of fun stuff to do there. And you'd be like, like what? And we'd be like, like the visualizer. And you'd be like, what the heck's a visualizer? And then we'd tell you. The visualizer is this nifty little application that allows you to completely remodel the exterior of your house. Play with different colors and styles to design the virtual home of your dreams. You'll have hours of fun this winter creating such visual masterpieces as a spruce green window with barn red sash and gray four and a half inch banded casing and historic sill nosing. Then once a thrill of that is I off, that one about you can the play week. with the roofing and siding. You can learn more about our wicked awesome main made windows and doors, but only at Better Lumber Yards and Window Professionals or on the web at MatthewsBrothers.com. Matthews Brothers with one T, America's oldest window manufacturer. I've seen a lot of anchor cupcakes in my day. Here are some of the latest network nitwits. And he says, if I'm elected mm-hmm. president, I will push for a constitutional amendment to impose term limits on all members of Congress. Correct me, there already are term limits. So what does he mean? And what are we hearing in the background? Is that shelling? No, Katie, uh, uh, Katie, you're actually hearing that I from mean, here in Jerusalem. Okay. And there's actually fireworks going fireworks off right seven. behind me. We are in our tribes. We're in our corners most of our lives. I think we just heard some gunshots. Should we listen to that for a second? Control room? Is that some- not gunshots? Okay. Ivanka is not the second lady. She is actually, I don't think she deserves this position. She's actually a senior advisor to the president. So the idea that he would demean her specifically in that way, he shouldn't talk about the first lady that way. We, we aren't all here to make salads for men. It's, it's yeah. disgusting. I mean, pro- I'm presuming he was talking about Karen Pence when he said second lady. Oh, I God, don't... I'm sorry. Not Montana. I'm talking about uh, North. Uh, no, never, never mind. Yeah, no, ignore Tester, me, I mean, ignore that's, me. That's I was could getting, add to that, I was getting you know. Montana and North Dakota confused because I don't know. I just was. I want to be clear in how I characterize this. This is a, mostly a protest. Uh, it is not. Uh, it is not generally speaking unruly. That ain't a riot. What we're seeing right now in Minneapolis, they are strictly principled anti-fascists. No organization is perfect. There was some violence. Any reasonable person would say we shouldn't be destroying other people's property, but these are not reasonable times. I argue to you tonight: all punches are not equal morally thank goodness for the looters man and please show me where it says that protests are supposed to be polite and peaceful do not get it twisted and think that oh this is some something that has not never happened before and then this is so terrible and where are we and these savages and all of that this is how this country was started people get mad and people get sick of it people are risking covid to explain to this country that we're fed up. You're listening to the Howie Car Show. You've been hearing me talk about Super Beats for a while now, and I'm sure some of you are still thinking, why Super Beats? You could take it from me. The benefits of Super Beats <laughs> are incredible. I take them twice a day, once in the morning when I get up, even before I have my first cup of coffee and the other time in the afternoon, right before the show, it gives me a burst of energy. It's great for my blood pressure. It's good for circulation. It just makes you feel better. If that doesn't convince you, we can talk about the science behind super beets. Beets have nitrates. Nitrates support better blood flow and better blood flow equals better energy and efficiency throughout the body and even supports healthy blood pressure. But super beets does so much more than eating regular beets and is unparalleled compared to other beet powders. Just one scoop of super Beats as the nitric oxide equivalent of three whole beats. Go to superbeatsradio.com slash Howie and try out Super Beats yourself. www.superbeatsradio.com slash Howie. www.superbeatsradio.com slash Howie. What does the mainstream media really think of you? Banjos, please. Bigots and racists, credulous, rude, tin tooth, working class, angry, white, aging, angry, white guys, angry, white man, angry, white, old men, these angry, white men, the angry, white vote, all these angry, white people, too many of them want to see the people who are begging for change put down racist racist bigoted base it's white privilege it's white nationalism it's anger it's rage it's insult it tolerated a certain level of racism one in three americans are racist the credulous boomer rube demo y'all y'all elitist (laughs) you you elitist with your geography and your maps 
and your spelling, <laughs> even though my your path and your reading. <laughs> yeah, you're reading. They're too far gone. Look at them. They're high fiving each other and they're going to go back, you know, to the Olive Garden and to their the Holiday Inn that they're staying at in the Garden Marriott and they're going to have some drinks. Howie says it all the time when it comes to bad politicians, Massachusetts takes the cake. It is my honor to introduce to you your senator, my senator, Senator Elizabeth Warren. I know who I am because of what my mother and my father told me. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Governor Deval Patrick. And frankly, I got to tell you, with all the other things I'm worrying about, this is not one of them. We're going to be fine. I'm in charge. Please join me in welcoming our own Senator Ed Markey. The planet is running a fever. There are no emergency rooms for our planets. The very first African-American congresswoman to be elected from Massachusetts, Ayanna Presley. We don't need any more brown faces that don't want to be a brown voice. We don't need black faces that don't want to be a black voice. We don't need Muslims that don't want to be a Muslim voice. We don't need queers that don't want to be a queer voice. Let's give them a great... Waterloo reception, John Kerry. Uh, the Yankees posted the Boston Red Sox logo and they sang Sweet Adeline. You're listening to the Howie Carr Show. Here are some rapid fire questions with Taylor Cormier. If you had to live in a state besides Massachusetts, which would you choose? Montana. No question about it. When is the last time you've heard of anything happening in Montana? The answer is you haven't. It's quiet. Nobody's going to bother you in Montana. If you weren't a radio guy, what profession would you be in? My number one dream job is to be an antique dealer. You know, like the uh, the American Pickers. I would love that job. Going through people's old garbage and junk and trying to find that diamond in the rough and you're always learning as you go it's, it's a lot of fun to watch and uh, i think that's why i go antiquing on the weekends what is your favorite color blue what's your favorite tv show the honeymooners jackie gleason is the most hilarious person on television ever what is your favorite soda i'm not a big soda guy it's got to be a special occasion for me to drink soda but i'm partial to dr pepper Everyone knows I love coffee and I'm not giving it up. I know that it would keep me up from time to time, but no longer with Balance 7. Balance 7 is a clear mineral liquid that you take three times a day to break down the acid in your body. When it does this, you'll feel better and me, I sleep better. Often I'm asked to try products and I can be very skeptical on their claims. But with Balance 7, it was all 100% true. With Balance 7, I didn't feel my energy starting to flag as the day wore on. Because by sleeping better at night, it also gave me mental clarity during the day. Balance 7 is a highly alkalizing concentrate. That means it reduces the acids that have built up in your body. Balance 7 is also known for reducing acid reflux and heartburn as it did for the mailroom manager. Balance 7 is made of safe, all-natural ingredients. If you suffer from heartburn, acid reflux, or sleep issues, you should give Balance 7 a try. Order the 8-ounce 12-pack supply at Balance7.com. Put in code word Howie, you will save $10 and you'll also get free shipping. Balance7.com. President Trump is clearly, ethically unfit and intellectually unprepared to be the President of the United States. And I support uh, Chair, Chairman Woman. In the coming weeks, the bill, the House will hold hearings. Of, uh, Congresswoman Harris, Congresswoman, Senator, did I say Senator? Senator Harris. He's our president, and I would rather he not be taking something that has not been approved, especially in his age group and in his, shall we say, weight group, what is morbidly obese, they say. So completely inappropriate in so many ways uh, that it's almost... A given. It's like a child who comes in with. Better strap yourself in. It's time for the Howie Carr Show. Is there something these Democrats aren't telling us? He is in real significant trouble, Joe Biden. It's time for more dementia. The American Recovery Act, Research Plan, Recovery Plan. Uh, I don't know. Live from the Matthews Brothers Studios. Look at the difference in the handling of Governor DeSantis versus Andrew Cuomo. Andrew Cuomo gets Emmys for sending your grandmother to your nursing home to her death. 
OK, Governor DeSantis got more hell in Florida for keeping beaches open. Now, we are stronger as a state and much happier as a people because of this leadership. Florida got it right and the lockdown states got it wrong. A place where America's growing free and strong. Because when you come down to it, this is where we all be From swabs, hacks and moon bats beware. It's. Howie Carr. 844-500-4242. Once a month, we are joined by Dr. Matt Callahan, the house veterinarian of the Howie Carr Show. He is here to answer all of your questions about your uh, your house pets, mainly your cats and dogs. But he can take a take a chance at... Uh, here take, to answer most of your questions. Most of the questions. <laughs> That's a good way to put it, uh, Dr. Matt. And uh, it's always a pleasure to have him. We always have uh, full lines. People enjoy having him. And we have breaking news to discuss today. But uh, first, I should say that Matt the Vet is brought to you by the Eden Pure Thunderstorm. For all your pet owners, odors, get the Eden, the Thunderstorm air purifier today at edenpure.com code word howie bogo the thunderstorm air purifier dr matt has several for his uh, animal clinic and uh that's a that's a good recommendation dr matt isn't it um you know i just wanted to say you know the we don't discuss this beforehand so this is um off off the cuff um we had someone say last week how nice it spelled in the clinic which is unusual. I mean, everyone knows what a veterinary clinic smells like. It's either horrible or or that disinfectant smell that right. I, I like worse. And so I, I just, you know, said thanks and just let it go. And then this morning, someone said the exact same thing. It really smells nice in here. So that's exactly what happened. So Boy, that's that's the best, uh, the best endorsement I've heard yeah. ever. All right. Uh, mm. Let's uh, let's talk about be and and again, whatever questions you've got, give us a call at eight four four five hundred forty two forty two. But first, I have to ask you about uh, Lady Gaga's dogs. You know, as yeah. you know, two of her uh, French bulldogs were uh, dog napped the other night. They tried to get the uh, the the third one, but the the uh, dog walker, who was a very loyal friend of hers, apparently, he, he even though he was shot four times, he hung on to the black one. And uh, they made off with the other two. So what I've been what I've been asking myself, and people have been asking uh, them each other, is what about chips for dogs? Yeah. What yeah, what? How do you and and my my uh, guy who works with me down here, he has a collie and a sheltie, and he and they both have chips. But he's I guess you have to take the take them to the vet to activate the chip. Why don't you explain how the whole system works? Sure. There's two kinds of um, pet ID. There's the chips that we normally think of, the injectable chips, which are called RFID chips or radio frequency identification chips, and they need a chip reader. And that could be a veterinarian, it could be a dog officer, an animal control officer, or someone like that that has the reader and passes the reader over the chip and it, and it responds. Um, the other type is the GPS chip that we'd sort of like to have and think about. Most of those are on collars. And of course, the first thing that someone that dog naps a dog is going to take the collar off. Okay. So that, that wouldn't, in this case, that wouldn't work to get Lady right. Gaga's dogs back or any yeah, dog that gets stolen. A, a month from now, a year from now, you know, someone, you know, believe me, it crazy as it seems, they'll bring them to the veterinarian and the veterinarian will, I've had this happen more than once where the story just doesn't seem to be quite right. And so you go, okay, let's pass a reader over this chip. And it turns out that it's somebody else's dog. But the, yeah. those are the injectable chips, right? They they look like a big they look like a big syringe, and the chip it goes through the center of the needle into the dog. Right. Okay, so if you, if someone brought a dog to your clinic and had the chip and had the the injectable chip injected, right. then you would you would just uh, then run the uh, scanner over it, and then they would be recorded for. Right. Well, what happens is if I run the scanner over it, it comes up with a number like yeah. a fifteen digit alphanumeric code. Okay. And then because of the code, I can find out who, who was the representative for the chip. I call that, I call that number. Someone answers the phone, hopefully, and says, you know, how can I help you? And then I pass the chip along and they say, okay, this is the, this is the person who owns this dog. Okay. But, it, but it's not like a, like a, a device on a, on a car. So that when the not, car is stolen, you, you just, like, yeah. you just track it down to the McDonald's parking lot or wherever the hell it's abandoned. Right. Okay. It, it isn't like that. They do make callers that do that where, on, you know, like on your phone, you can track another phone right. or you can track your car. 
And um, those typically need a battery source, right? Sure. They don't need that much, but yeah, they, that's probably why they have to be on a collar because they're not, they're not transponding, they're transmitting. Mm -hmm. So, so would you recommend uh, an injectable chip? Oh, I'm, I'm a huge fan. I'm a huge fan. Uh, we have found dogs. Um, we found a cat two years after it was lost. We found a dog six months after it was lost. Um, yeah. So we find pets all the time through their chips. Well, who had the, who had the cat two years later or the dog six well, months later? Okay. So with, here's one of the things that people don't appreciate about this. I, you know, I had a client about two years ago and they called me and they said, my cat is lost. And I said, per chance, do you have a chip? And they said, yes. And I said, call the chip manufacturer. And five minutes later, I got a fax saying the cat was lost. Well, that, I already knew the cat was lost. That was unimportant to me. But I also knew that every dog officer and every veterinary clinic within 20 miles just got that fax. So the word is out, right, that there's yeah. a pet that's lost. Now, in the case of the dog, it, it, had, it was lost north of the Merrimack and found south of the Merrimack. And this is back in the day when most of it was done in newspapers. The Internet wasn't quite as sophisticated as yeah. it is now. And so there, people were advertising for the lost dog north of the Merrimack. And in Hamilton, where the dog was found, um, they were advertising for a lost dog, but no one ever got together. The dog actually came to my clinic, was about to be adopted, and the owner and the person that was now sort of sheltering the dog uh, said, you know, this dog was definitely owned by someone. And I said, has anyone checked for a chip? The answer was no. We scanned the dog, found the chip. The dog... <laughs> the client was actually, we came up with a client living in San Diego, which knew couldn't be right. So we called their contact number. They said the people had moved to Salisbury. Um, lo and behold, called wow. them in Salisbury and 45 minutes later, after six weeks of being lost, the dog was, the dog was back home. Wow. So I got to ask you the, the obvious follow-up question. How much does the chip cost? They're very inexpensive. Um, the, the, um, so the, in, to implant the chip is usually between sixty and ninety dollars, and then there's a then there's a yearly fee, which isn't actually terribly high, eighteen to twenty dollars, to maintain your dog's information at that site. Sounds like a better deal than getting a license from the town, which for which you get nothing. In return. Well, right. <laughs> I mean, it's the, the licenses help, rabies tags help, and these things help. So you can you can use all these bits of information to track down an owner. Oh, that's really that's that's interesting information. Yeah. So, uh, so the, it, uh, it, so the chip's not going to help a uh, lady Gaga get the no. dogs back. Well, it's again, $500,000 reward is so, probably what's going to help. Right, that, that's going to help. <laughs> but you, let's say six months from now, someone brings this dog to a vet for some problem and the vet gets, you know, any sort of weird vibe about the thing and runs the run. If the dog has a chip, I wouldn't be shocked if they do. Um, then they scan the chip and then they find out who the owner is. Right. Well, I mean, French bulldogs too. I mean, they, they usually, they usually owned by people of some affluence, right? right. I so, I mean, so if these, these guys are like street, street criminals, right? Right. So if they, if they suddenly, they, they, these are the kind of people who I hate to, uh, stereotype, but they're the kind of people who have put pit bulls, not French bulldogs, not Frenchies, right? Yeah. Right. So I, I think they would probably uh, raise the I the suspicion of any vet that's paying it any kind of attention. Well, here's how the situation could play out. They bring the dog in. The dog is four years old, and they say, "Where's the dog's past veterinary records?" Well, we don't have any past veterinary records. Well, where did you get the dog? Well, we got him through a shelter. Well, what shelter? You know that the, the the story falls apart so quickly, and mm -hmm. we've had it. As I said, we've had it happen where dogs have been taken from taken from a person or taken from a shelter and then they try to bring him in to get him spayed or to get to get him rabies vaccinated or anything like that and then the story starts to fall apart all right where should people go uh dr matt or what's your phone number if people want to, and where is your clinic by the way if people want to get a, an injectable yeah. chip <laughs> injectable or anything chip. else in their yeah. dog well, or cat um so um i i run the ipswich animal hospital we're on route one on just over the ipswich rally line so our number is 978-948-8189 Nine seven eight nine four eight eight one eight nine eight one eight nine Ipswich Animal Hospital. Okay, we uh, took up a lot of time there to discussing this, but I think it was good information uh, and it's yep. pretty pretty uh, topical information too. So do the read. We'll take calls when we come back. When uh, when we uh, when we come back, we're going to take a lot of calls. We've got a lot of people that have a lot of questions for uh, Doctor Matt. This week is the week you've been waiting for. My friends at Eden Pure have 
brought back the ever so popular Thunderstorm air purifier BOGO offer. That's buy one, get one free. This offer expires Sunday, February 28th at midnight. With over 60,000 sold, the Thunderstorm is slated to sell out. So take advantage of this offer while supplies last. If you bought one and love it the way I do, then order now and you'll have two. Debbie from Auburn, Maine wrote, wet dog, sausage, and cigars were no match for the thunderstorm. You just heard what Dr. Matt said. He's getting compliments on the way his animal clinic smells. That's that's a new thing for, for anybody who's ever been in an animal clinic. Uh, my listeners love the thunderstorm air purifier. Matt the vet loved it so much. As I just said, he bought two more. The thunderstorm is a small device you can hold in your hand and plug into the wall to purify the air from any odor. It could be the pet odors, kitchen smells, tobacco, or that damp smell lingering in your basement. When you take advantage of the BOGO offer, the thunderstorm is below $100, and it doesn't take up any room, as you can see if you're on social media. Also, no filters are needed. Take advantage of the BOGO offer before it expires or supply runs out. Go to EdenPure.com and put in code word Howie BOGO. Remember, it runs out this weekend, the BOGO offer. That's EdenPure.com. Howie Bogo. Shipping is free. I'm Howie Carr. The paper boy with a big microphone. Howie Carr. 200 moms, dads, sons, daughters, grandparents who are no longer with us. I think it's up to 30,000 people have died. Over 600,000 dead. 600 plus thousand people. 60,000. 660. We're in the middle of a pandemic that had cost us more than 85,000 jobs, lives of millions of people. Now we have over 120 million dead from COVID. 200 million people have died. 205 million people, 1,000 people. 210 million, 210,000 people have died. 4 million existing billion. 500,000. 50,000, excuse me, 50,000. A class of 25, you end up having two classes of 12, for example. But you know, in the 2020 census, which is now two censuses ago. The Oval, back in 29, May 9, 2019, a $15 million, a $15,000, $15 minimum wage. I got to the Senate 180 years ago. Now's the perfect time to get a pair of premium wireless earbuds, and Raycon is the way to go. Raycon started about half the price of other premium brands on the market, and they sound just as amazing. And Raycon's everyday E25 earbuds are their best model yet. You get six hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing, more bass, and a more compact design that gives you a comfortable, noise-isolating fit. Perfect for conference calls, video chats, or binging podcasts. Raycon was founded by Ray J, and celebrities like Cardi B and J.R. Smith have already given Raycons their seal of approval. I love my Raycons, and Grace loves hers, too. Howie, I love my Raycons. Best birthday gift ever. I listen to much better music than she does, though. Hey, that's not true. Now it's your turn to see what the hype is all about. Go to buyraycon.com slash Howie. That's buyraycon.com slash Howie. Buyraycon.com slash Howie. Joe Biden's plagiarizing prowess proves one thing. He's been stealing all his life. Let us pledge that our generation of Americans... We'll pay any price. We shall pay any price. Bear any burden. Bear any burden. Accept any challenge and meet any hardship. Meet any hardship. To secure the blessings of prosperity and the promise of opportunity for our children. To assure the survival and the success of liberty. But this standard is not a measure of how we can evaluate the condition of our society. We cannot measure the health of our children. Yet the gross national product does not allow for the health of our children. The quality of our education. The quality of their education. The joy of their play. For the joy of their play. Come on, man. I can still teach you a few, kid. You're just a tin horn thug and you always will be. You haven't got the guts to be anything else. The Howie Car Show. Today's poll question is brought to you by the Eden Pure Air Purifier Thunderstorm. 
BOGO is back. This is one week only and expires this Sunday, February 28th. To order, go to EdenPure.com and use code word Howie BOGO. Taylor, what's the poll question? What are the results thus far? If Trump doesn't run, who would you vote for in the Republican primary? Ted Cruz, Ron DeSantis, or Rand Paul? Ron DeSantis. 75% say DeSantis. All right. Here's a, here's a, a, a text from 617. My daughter passed away. Ten years later, her cat was found in New York by a rescue group. Tracked us down through the, her cat's chip and her obit. That's an amazing story. And Yeah. Bruce from the Mets says there's a story somewhere he read today that a cat had been tracked down 15 years after it was lost through a chip. How long is how long have they had these chips? I didn't know about this. Oh, they've had yeah, probably uh, probably 20 years now. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's take some calls. And again, uh, Doctor Matt, uh, where can people go to uh, reach you if they need some help with chips or anything else? Yeah, they can call me at the Ipswich Animal Hospital at nine seven eight nine four eight eight one eight nine. All right, Lynn, you're next with Howie Carr and Dr. Matt Callahan. Go ahead, Lynn. Thank you. Um, I have a kitty, and she she has kitty acne, and no matter yeah. what I try to do, I can't seem to get rid of it. Right. Okay. Um, what sort of food bowl are you using when water bowl? Um, I have used something the vet gave me. It was some sort of, like, antibiotic topical thing. And oh, wow. Just like yeah. And I've been using the acne pads. Yeah, I think, yeah. Uh, these are these are very difficult to control. So you you don't think about curing it. Think about managing it. Um, certainly, I think in some cases I might even uh, check them for uh, skin mites. That's an oddball thing in cats, but definitely has happened and causes acne. Uh, the other thing is to change their food bowls to a from metal or plastic to ceramic or glass. Thank thanks for the call, Lynn. I was going to make a stupid joke about kitty Clarisel. <laughs> well, they actually, you know, some cats actually do respond to benzoyl peroxide, uh, just a very weak version of it because their skin is so sensitive, but wow. um, does, does the same thing. Paul, you're next with Howie Carr and Dr. Matt. Go ahead, Paul. Uh, hi, Howie uh, and Matt, Dr. Matt calling from Wayland. Um, I, I'm a dog lover and I have had about five or six dogs over my lifetime. My, my daughter recently well within the last year got a, a border collie yep. and i was delighted that that she did that um but this dog seems to hate me uh, from the very beginning it's yeah. been barking at me mm -hmm. the, the whole time have uh, you been mean to some sheep paul <laughs> that may have turned the dog against you <laughs> not, not, not intentionally Hallie, but, uh, or past not, life but, uh, um you know we, uh the dog, the dog just recently got neutered. Yeah, um, and supposedly that's going to help. Yeah, that's and always sprayed it with water and maybe with yeah. vinegar when it barks. Okay, well, uh, that probably will alienate your dog. Um, I guess I would say this: that um, bribery definitely helps with dogs. So you want to. I, I don't think punishing them for barking at you or even mildly punishing them is going to help your relationship with them. I certainly think in. You know, if we talk to veterinary behavior as virtually every behavior problem, if they are not spayed or neutered, they say first spay or neuter them because in most of those cases, the dog gets better. But you want to be you want to be the positive influence on this dog. So you want to give them treats. You want to feed them dinner. You want to fill their water dish. You want to take them for walks. And then th those sort of things will help endear you to the dog. This, you know, not liking someone that doesn't have to be forever. Um, dogs can learn to like people. Thanks for the call, Paul. Mick, you're next with Howie Carr and Dr. Matt. Go ahead, Mick. Hi, Dr. Matt. Thank you for taking Mick. my call. Uh, I have this cat that I got from the local shelter, uh, and it's a calico, uh, and it turns out to be a scaredy cat. Uh -huh. That is, I can't, I can't touch the cat except when uh, I'm at bed and it wakes me up at 4.30 in the morning and pats me on the nose yeah. and says, give me, give me attention now. Yeah. And I'd like, to, I'd like to adjust the time zone of this cat. <laughs> How long have you had her? Uh, about six years now. Oh, good. So, yeah, it's not, it, she hasn't established a pattern yet. So, the, um, <laughs> the, uh, yeah, this, this, is, this is a toughie because cats are all about, I mean, cats would love, uh, you know, Groundhog Day is the, is would the cats would love living the same day again and again. Uh, so, I, I think you're going to have problems 
unless you can lock the cat out of the bedroom for a period of time, which of course they'll respond by crying at your door. So uh, I think you're you're in trouble on this one. I think the cats established the relationship, and uh, we have a we have a clinic cat that has a very similar issue. My the cat likes me on one day a week, Sunday morning, because I have to come in and feed the cat. So other than that, the cat why don't you feed, feed the, the cat day. seven days a week then? Because I don't want to. <laughs> That's why. I hire, I hire people to feed the cat six days a week, but not seven days a week. All right. Good luck, Mick. Steve, yeah. you're, Steve, you're next with Howie Carr and Dr. Matt. Go ahead, Steve. Hey, Dr. Matt. Thanks. Thanks, Howie. Can you hear me all right? Yeah. yeah. So, so we have a five-month-old female golden. Uh, she goes through the night without urinating. She does fine. But she has those accidents when we get home. Um, we leave her at this point from nine to three when we're at work. <laughs> And uh, my, my, my wife gets home. She, I don't know if she gets distracted. She goes out, but she doesn't pee. She doesn't urinate outside. She comes back in. She has one or two accidents. Sometimes, sometimes she'll go through the day. She's fine. But yeah. she'll have one or two accidents like four times a week, three times a week. Okay. Is she doing it while she's greeting you or is she just going over and urinating? She's, um, sometimes maybe we'll miss a signal. Yeah. But no, I'm saying, is not, she is she peeing while she's greeting you? Is she so happy to see you that she's urinating? No. Okay. No, this is this is when, yeah, no, she's not. Okay. So here's the thing, you know, we invented indoor plumbing because we didn't want to go out there, okay? So you can't blame your dog for going in the house. It makes, makes a lot more sense. Um, so, th but the thing of this is, is if you let her out and she doesn't pee, you have to come back and put her in a crate or someplace like that where she doesn't want to pee. And it, it just has to be for a few minutes because she's probably waiting to come back and pee. So you, when you let her out, if she does not urinate outside, she needs to come in and go into a crate. And then in five minutes, let her out and she'll go. I think some people don't like crates. I mean, the pugs loved crate, the crate. So yeah. they, it just depends, doesn't it, on the dog, whether they want to be in a crate or not? I, I absolutely agree. There's some dogs that will not accept it, but the vast majority will, as long as it's not used as punishment. It's just a place to go. I mean, kids have cribs. They look a lot like, you know, they look a lot like crates, but people put kids in cribs all the time. Right. Sometimes they put things on top of the crib <laughs> so that the kids can't get out. I'm not I, commenting on that. I, I'll, I'll <laughs> cop to that. All right. We'll be right back. I'm Howie Carr. If you're thinking about a new RV this year, I've got two words of advice for you. Buy early. This is Howie Carr. With the popularity of camping growing and manufacturer's constraints, the earlier you shop, the better. Our friends at Cold Springs RV are ready for you. They have an indoor heated showroom and heated units outside for winter browsing. They are also ready to sell your current RV on consignment. Learn more at coldspringsrv.com or visit Cold Springs RV in Ware, New Hampshire. Six Hour is hiring CNC machine operators, maintenance techs, quality inspectors, and more. Six Hour is offering competitive pay, multiple shifts, and for select positions, sign-on bonuses. If you'd like to join America's most highly respected firearms manufacturer, come to their drive through job fair on February 27th, 9 a.m. to noon in Exeter, New Hampshire, for on-the-spot, socially distanced interviews right from your vehicle. Learn more at SixHourCareers.com. That's SixHourCareers.com. Joe Biden accuses Trump of being a racist, but if you listen to Biden's comments, you would agree that he doth protest too much. If you take a test where you're taking cocaine or not, what do you think, huh? Are, are you a junkie? What are you the first mainstream African American who is articulate and bright and, and clean. And Madam President, we have predators on our streets. That kid wearing a hoodie may very well be the next poet laureate and not a gangbanger. They are beyond the pale, many of those people. God love you. Been here all day. My Lord, you may feel like you're being incarcerated. We have no choice but to take them out of society. Poor kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids. I think the two party system is good for the South and good for the Negro. They're going to put y'all back in chains. Unlike the African American community, with notable exceptions, the Latino community is an incredibly diverse community with incredibly different attitudes about different things. If you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump and you ain't black, Hair loss is not one of life's more enjoyable experiences. If you're looking to fill in your hairline 
or reverse years of hair loss, DiStefano Hair Restoration will create a result that will be a transformative experience. The result of my IGT procedure was quite remarkable. I now have fuller, thicker hair so I can even wear it a bit longer. There are a few major decisions I've made in my life that I wish I did sooner. My hair restoration is number one. It was by far one of the best moves I've ever made. My hair looks awesome and the confidence from having a full head of hair again has left me feeling great. I used to look in the mirror and dreaded seeing my ever-increasing ball spot. Now when I look in the mirror, I see the new me with a full head of thick hair. For information on how to make the same choice I did, go to hairman.com slash Howie. What are you waiting for? More hair to fall out? Get the hair you've always wanted hairman.com slash Howie. He is the youngest senator that is going to be running. In his video, he also mentioned he's the only senator that lives in the inner city and he's an unmarried vegan. So a lot of very (laughs) unique qualities Cory Booker brings to the table, Kate. Now, I appreciate the comments of my colleagues. This is about the closest I'll probably ever have in my life to an I am Spartacus moment. I am Spartacus. I am Spartacus. Joey, do you like movies about gladiators? Have you ever had uh, an LGBTQ uh, law clerk? Um, I've not been a judge, so I don't have any law clerks. I'm uh, sorry, working someone working for you. Um, I'm, I'm, to be honest, I don't know the sexual orientation of my, my staff. When Dick Durbin called me, I had tears of rage when I heard about this experience in that meeting. And for you not to feel that hurt. Tears of rage, tears of rage. Would you just stop being so dramatic? I'm a big believer that if America... If this country hasn't broken your heart, then you don't love her enough. Uh, We are now effective today requiring all counties to close their indoor activities, their indoor operations uh, in the following sectors, restaurants, wineries, tasting rooms. A few weeks ago, uh, I was asked to go to a friend's 50th birthday. I made a bad mistake. Instead of sitting down, uh, I should have stood up. Stay at home as much as possible. Put those social gatherings on hold, including extra care for Thanksgiving. Denver's mayor told you to stay home for Thanksgiving. Then he got on a flight to go see family out of state. Some people calling Supervisor Kuehl a hypocrite. Now, on November 24th, she voted to ban outdoor dining. And on the very same day, she was spotted eating out. I take responsibility for trusting the word of the neighborhood salon that I've been to over the years. As it turns out, it was a setup. So I take responsibility for falling for a setup. This salon owes me an apology. What they do. Live from the Matthews Brothers Studio. Matt the Vet is brought to you by the Eden Pure Thunderstorm. For all your pet owners' odors, get the Eden Pure Thunderstorm air purifier today. Get it at EdenPure.com, code word Howie Bogo. Howie Bogo. Uh, Dr. Matt, what is your phone number if people want to uh, use your services during the week? My phone number at the Ipswich Animal Hospital is 978-948-8189. And if you bring your pet there to the Ipswich Animal Hospital, it smells really good because it they, smells use, they use the, uh, the Eden Pure Thunderstorm. 844-500-4242. A, a texter wants to know, would Dr. Matt recommend pulling a German Shepherd's tail after taking a shower? <laughs> <laughs> I recommend strongly against that. <laughs> At all times, not just after a shower. Yeah, with all due respect to the commander-in-chief. Kelly, you're next with Howie Carr and Dr. Matt. Go ahead, Kelly. Hi there. Um, Dr. Matt, I have a uh, Bernice Mountain Dog. Yep. And he's older, and he has, it's not his breath that is so terrible, but it's like his lips yeah. are really yeah. stinky. And so what do I do? Okay, so... The, certainly it can be their teeth that can cause this. Um, dogs also, burners can get this too, is called lip fold pyoderma. Um, dogs have this little fold sort of in the middle of their bottom lip and uh, it can get all sorts of saliva and food and other junk in there and it really starts to ferment. So They need to uh, floss. Uh, yeah, they need, probably need, I would say certainly have this looked at by a vet, but something simple like, you know, anything astringent like a mild witch hazel on a, 
on like a cotton swab can help that. All right, Kelly, thanks for the call. John from Portland, you're next. Go ahead, John. Hi, thanks for taking my call. I have an indoor outdoor cat, and she gets this black crud around her mouth. Mm -hmm. that seems to come and go. Is that anything I can do anything about or yeah. that I need to worry about? <laughs> I think we just uh, covered this on the last couple of calls. It's, um, it's, it's the same thing on a cat? Yeah, a ch chin acne or lip fold pyoderma, these are all oh. similar things. So, yeah, I think probably what I would do in this case, in, in this particular case, is any sort of gentle cleanser, you know, a mild soap or anything to help soak that mm -hmm. stuff off. Um, as long as the cat will tolerate it, most cats will. Um, a little warm, mild soap on a, on a cotton swab just to keep it clean. Is it, is it worse because the cat's outside sometimes? And, um, I can't think of any reason why it would be worse, but I, we have indoor cats and outdoor cats with the same issue. Uh, thanks for the call, uh, John. Mike, you're next with uh, Dr. Matt here. Go ahead, Mike. Yeah, hi, uh, Dr. Matt. Thanks for taking my call. I got a uh, five-year-old uh, Australian Shepherd. Yep. And may not have ha may not have noticed it when uh, he was a pup, but for, for years now, he... Uh, when we take him off a walk, he periodically hops or uh, like walks on three legs. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He just, every once in a while, it's not constant, but every once in a while, he just hops like uh, on his back leg, like it's right. like a sore or something. Yeah. So I don't know if it's anything serious. He doesn't seem to be in discomfort. It doesn't happen all the time. Well, I would um, say I was just, if he, if he's hopping, it's probably because he's uncomfortable. Aussies are pretty tough dogs. So if it's a mild pain, they're probably going to just walk through it. Um, I would have a veterinarian absolutely take a look at this, um, luxating patella where their knee pops in and out is that's a real common one for them to be suddenly lame and then suddenly not lame. Um, also dogs can have, obviously they can have hip issues, hip arthritis or anterior cruciate disease is another pretty common one, but this is definitely one for a, for an exam. Thanks for the call, Mike. Is is it uh, is that particular uh, is that a particular problem for those kind of dogs? Because every dog so. seems I, to yeah. have these different kinds of problems. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. There's that every breed has their own specific orthopedic disease or genetic disease or heart disease or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't think Aussies are particularly prone to any of those diseases, but they can get all of them. Lisa, you're next with Howie Carr and Doctor Matt. Go ahead, Lisa. Hi. Um, yes, I just had a question. So I have a six-year-old pit bull retriever mix okay. who is very, he gets very stressed out getting his nails done to mm -hmm. the point where I brought him to the vet. We've tried to give him medication orally. Sure. It's not doing anything. Yeah. The last time he was at the vet, they actually tried to um, sedate him like he was having surgery. Sure. They had to put him under twice. Yeah. He still would not go under. Yeah. I don't know what to do with him. Um, he does actually have to go under anesthesia. So they're trying to sedate him. Dogs can fight fight sedation. I think he needs to be treated like a surgical patient and be put under anesthesia for his well-being and the vet staff's well-being. Um, if they put him under anesthesia, he will not wake up because he's under anesthesia. So if he's been put under appropriately, he will sleep to the point where they can trim his nails appropriately. Then he'll wake up without any stress. But that's what needs to happen. How much time does a dog need to spend outdoors so that you don't have to worry about these kind of problems, taking you them know, to the vet? Every dog is different based on the strength of their nails and what they're even walking on outside. Dogs that actually, you know, need the least amount of nail care walk on the pavement because the pavement really? is as a city dog emery board. Right. City dogs. Absolutely. The dogs that are out in the country walking on softer surfaces, they tend to need more nail care. And, and I, there was, I bet there was a almost a 10 year period where I didn't trim my golden retriever's nails. And then as they aged, it was every couple of months. Wow. It's, <laughs> it's a, it's tough to, and you can't really, you can't really trim the nails yourself in your house. Cause they're going to bleed, right? Cause they, <laughs> they, 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 I mean, they're not like our nails. Right. right? I mean, if, if you cut your dog's nails, eventually you're going to quick them and they're going to bleed. So yeah, I think people say, well, I'm afraid of quicking them and I, my response is we're not, you know, we'll, we'll go ahead and quick them because it's just one of those things that happens. You can't help it if you trim enough nails. Um, but they definitely need them trimmed, especially this winter with there has been so much ice. I know it's been a problem for you, Howie, um, with all the ice on the ground, but we've had tons of broken uh, Take nails. it up with him if you say I'm rubbing it in. I, I, I said nothing. Dr. Matt said it. <laughs>
So we really had a lot of nail injuries. Um, and I, my joke is with nail injuries, the worse they are, the better they are, because if they tear them right off, there's nothing for me to do. I'm done. So, Bill, Thanks for the call uh, there, Lisa. Uh, Bill, you're next with Howie Carr and Dr. Matt. Go ahead. Hey, Dr. Matt, I have a question for you. Um, quick one. I have, I've been heard of the psycho dog. Uh, my daughter has uh, a little dog. It's like two and a half pounds of mutt that her ex-husband gave her. And uh, he came home. With, she came home with us and uh, it follows my wife around everywhere. Yeah. Like right behind her, does not leave her alone. Mm -hmm. And when she's out of the house, everything's fine. If my wife is there, you come walking in the house, she'll bark at everybody. Yeah. And then she, she tried to nip at everybody. And, but it's almost like she's trying to protect her. Right. She is. That's because she is. <laughs> I don't is. know what, to, and I don't no. know what to do. I mean, she, I will, it, she, it doesn't matter. Like I can walk outside and come right back in and she'll stop back and right. treat you like a stranger. Sure. Yeah. She probably is trying to protect your wife. Um, you know, a good thing to do here, they, they make small cage muzzles for these guys and that can help. You can always keep her on a leash, at least until she's trained. I really do think People have a lower expectation for small dogs as far as behavior, and I think that's wrong. I think you can expect good behavior out of a small dog, but you have to train them. So you have to train them to come when they're called, train them to sit, train them to take treats, all that sort of stuff, and then they start to respect you. At least you can control them with your voice or a leash. What about what you were talking about earlier, Dr. Matt, bribery? Why doesn't the Bill just start feeding well, the dog and you, you Bill see, gives him all the, the treats? The, the dog likes Bill when his wife isn't home. That's the problem. The dog doesn't dislike Bill. The dog is trying to protect protect Bill's wife. That's what the dog is trying to do. So, But if you ask the dog to do stuff, now the dog has to behave for you. That's why it's a little bit different. Thanks for the call, Bill. Paulette, you're next with Howie Carr and Dr. Matt. Go ahead, Paulette. Hi, Dr. Matt. Um, I have a about nine-year-old um, female. Well, obviously, she's female because she's calico, long hair. Yeah. Um, Actually, my husband and I went away um, last week. We we're in Florida, actually, Howie. Um, and um, we had her boarded at a place that we've already had her boarded. Um, this is the second time. So we brought her home. She was meowing like crazy, like really crazy, like yeah. meowing all the time. Yeah. So I started feeding her like a normal schedule. This morning, I went down in the basement and I noticed there were like, at least between Wednesday and today, like eight piles of puke in right. different areas. Mm -hmm. um, now she seems to be drinking an awful lot of water. So I'm not really sure what is going on with her. I don't yeah. Um, d you know, this, th your cat definitely needs to go to the veterinarian and get checked out. Um, certainly cats after the age of nine, cat that's drinking a lot can have some kidney issues. They can have diabetes. They can have thyroid issues. All of those things can look like this, but I wouldn't waste any time. I would call your vet ASAP and um, get her in to be seen. Thanks for the call, Paulette. Uh, John, you're next with Howie Carr and Dr. Matt. Go ahead. Yes. Hi, Dr. Matt. This is John Kerry. I'm from Saco, Maine, Howie, not far from your favorite place down there at Ken's place in Pine Point. I know Sacco very well. Very good. We enjoy your show very Thank much you. and Dr. Matt as well. We have a pretty difficult question. We have an 11 year old lab. Mm -hmm. She has arthritis and she has arthritis and she has a very severe skin disease. Yep. And the vet Do you know what really it's called? almost recommended putting her down and sure. we don't really want to do it. Okay. But we, we want to do the best for her. Okay. What's the so, disease? Do you know the name of the disease, John? No, I do not. It's a skin disease. It's a rash. It's a rash. And she, she, she scratches herself so severely yeah. that it's raw yeah. on certain parts of her skin. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Um, well, certainly you, I mean, if you're going to pursue this, you might want to pursue it through a dermatologist. There are specialties um, in veterinary medicine. You can, so you can certainly um, look at a, a dermatologist veterinary dermatologist to help you out here. Your vet usually is pretty, you know, most vets want to see their patients get better. Um, certainly in the cases for me where, you know, I think it's beyond my um, capacity, either intellectually or via um, some piece of equipment or some imaging, I send the cat, cat or dog along to be looked at. And so vets are usually pretty happy to do that. Um, orthopedically, um, old labs are tough. Um, 
But I do think there's enough medications out there that the vast majority of labs um, can have their orthopedic disease managed to the point where they die of something else. I know that sounds weird, but you don't want to put a dog to sleep just because of orthopedic disease. It seems, especially in the case of labs, because they, you know, I always joke about labs that, you know, you have that 14-year-old lab that can't see, can't hear, and it hurts to get up, and they just want to get the day going. You know, let's get some breakfast and let's go <laughs> on, you know. <laughs> they're, they're, you know, they're, you know that happy-go-lucky uh, attitude is just a veneer around a titanium core. So they are the toughest dogs out there for sure. All right. Thanks a lot, John, and good luck, and I'll see you at Ken's this summer. It's just, I'm looking forward to it. All right. Uh, Dr. Matt, again, what's your phone number if people want to uh, get your services at the Ipswich Animal Hospital? My number is 978-948-8189. All right, great. We'll be back uh, and we'll have one more segment. Get on board now at 844-500-4242. I'm Howie Carr. A nightmare to liberals everywhere. He's Howie Carr. Hey, Howie. Yes. So as we get towards the end of the next segment, you can let people know that if they're on the line, they can stay on the line. Dr. Matt will take their calls. Oh, that's great. Thank you, Dr. Matt, for doing that. That's good. Here's train. Visit DefensiveStrategies.org. As this year of COVID draws to a close, it's time to make sure your portfolio is ready for whatever happens next. Kevin Frisbee and the team at Frisbee and Associates are ready to help you. It's called the 100-100 Challenge. If you have $100,000 saved for retirement and come in for that no-cost, no-obligation consultation, you'll walk out with $100 cash. That's right, 100 bucks just to let Kevin do a portfolio x-ray and see what might be hiding in your current plan. Call now for your no-cost or obligation consultation, and you could walk out with $100 cash. Call 800-989-9100. That's 800-989-9100. Kevin is a true fiduciary. That means by law, he's always working in your best interest. And be sure and catch Kevin on the Howie Carr Radio Program every Thursday afternoon for a market review and tips on creating the retirement of your dreams. Call Kevin Frisbee today, 800-989-9100. That's 800-989-9100. And now, a namaste moment with Chris Cuomo. Hope with me that today, Dr. King's example inspires the many striving for better and enlightens the toxic few determined to be their worst. Yeah, you're going to have a f-ing problem. What? what are you going to do about it? I'll ruin you. I'll f-ing throw you down these stairs like a f-ing punk. We could not have a better reminder that you can't kill an idea with violence. And I don't want some jackass, loser, fat tire biker um, to be able to pull over uh, and get in my face and in my space. And that violence can be used as a refuge for those coming from a place of animus and ignorance. What's the best way to 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 handle it? You just ignore it. Make a choke? No, just no, just ignore Punch it. Punch the sternum. As Dr. King taught us, darkness can only be removed by the light of truth. And love is the ultimate form of truth. You've been hearing me talk about Super Beats for a while now, and I'm sure some of you are still thinking, why Super Beats? You could take it from me. The benefits of Super Beats are incredible. I take them twice a day, once in the morning when I get up, even before I have my first cup of coffee, and the other time in the afternoon, right before the show. It gives me a burst of energy. It's great for my blood pressure. It's good for circulation. It just makes you feel better. If that doesn't convince you, we can talk about the science behind Super Beats. Beats have nitrates. Nitrate support better blood flow, and better blood flow equals better energy and efficiency throughout the body and even supports healthy blood pressure. But Super Beats does so much more than eating regular beets and is unparalleled compared to other beet powders. Just one scoop of Super Beats has the nitric oxide equivalent of three whole beets. Go to superbeatsradio.com slash Howie and try out Super Beats yourself. www.superbeatsradio.com slash Howie. www.superbeatsradio.com slash Howie. And now, another minute of Madam Speaker Nancy Pelosi. But uh, uh, again, don't uh, you have these wings, AOC and her group on one side. That's like five people. They would say, uh, play games, and then they'd say, open Sesame, except we don't say Sesame, we say open Biden. But no, I, 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 because the, we are not. <laughs> we have no, the number is growing. We have 91 women. There are 115 women in Congress, 116. 15 are Republican, 91 are Democrats. 
I happen to be a manifestation of the women power that is coming forth now, but only one manifestation. It was like getting kicked in the back by a mule constantly. It was physical. It was so unbelievable. The Times found Lincoln. Not to be presumptuous to put ourselves in those categories, but the Times have found us. Got hate mail? You bloated idiot! You stupid fat head, you! <laughs> Send it to Grace at hollycarshow.com. Eight four four five hundred forty two forty two. Matt the Vet is brought to you by the Eden Pure Thunderstorm. For all your pet odors, get the Thunderstorm air purifier today at EdenPure.com. Code word Howie Bogo for the two for one deal. And uh, Doctor Matt, where, what's the uh, number people can reach you at uh, at the Ipswich Animal Hospital during the week? Uh, they can call me at nine seven eight nine four eight. 8189. And by the way, we have full lines right now. And if, we, but if we run out of time, hang on the line if you're on the line and Dr. Matt will take you off the air. We appreciate that, Dr. Matt. Thank you very much. Uh, 919 asked me, when are you going to get back into the dog owner game, Howie? There's a dog out there waiting for you to adopt him or her. Yeah, I, I, I just got to convince the mailroom manager. That's all. Help me out, Dr. Matt, with that, you know? Okay. I'll make it my personal project. I've already got the names picked out for my two new pugs, Roscoe and Elroy. I don't care if they're male or female. Those are going to be their names, right? They don't care. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Just jo don't call them late for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, you're next with Howie Carr and Dr. Matt. Go ahead, Joe. Uh, yeah, uh, Dr. Matt, I got a uh, Maltese, and uh, the dog is old and uh, kind of deaf, and um I want to, I never, I want to, I want to teach her how to sit and, you know, like stay and stuff like that, but she doesn't do it. And I don't want to hit her. Hey. Well, I'm glad you don't want to hit her. Joe, is Joe, you, shouldn't you have done that when she was a puppy, taught her how to sit? Why, <laughs> why did you wait until all these years? <laughs> Joe. Oh God, Joe. Beth, you're next. Thanks for the call, Joe. Beth, you're next with Howie Carr and Dr. Matt. Go ahead, Beth. Hi, I, I'm calling about my dog, and he's 10 years old, and his eyes uh, just um, tear stains, but just it almost <laughs> pours from his eyes. Yeah. And my dad has, um, uh, I had tried eye drops, that yeah. didn't work, and then she wants me to put him on Benadryl, like, every day. Okay. And I did it for him, and that didn't help. All right. And so then I bought this angel eyes. Right. I don't know. Well, that angel eyes really help, helps with so. staining. Yeah, that's a that's one that helps with staining. Um, you, what happens quite often with these guys is there's a tube um, that leads from your eyes to your sinuses, and it's called the nasolacrimal duct. And for people that cry, I mean, I don't personally cry, but for those that do, they'll get the sniffles because your tears are draining into your sinus, and that happens with dogs too. And quite often it'll block, and then all the tears the dog makes will come out on their face. So, you know, usually what has to happen is you analyze how much tear the dog is producing. If they're producing enough tears and they still have this discharge, then the best, you know, what you can do is unblock the nasal lacrimal ducts. I'm not a huge fan of it because quite often it doesn't work for that long, which leaves you with just cleaning your dog's eyes, which, you know. Yeah, Pearl used Usually to have a problem with that too. Yeah. She, she, uh, but not uh, not Gooner. It was it was kind of strange. What's the latest you can really ch train a dog to sit or roll? Oh over? no, you can train a dog. I mean, obviously, if they're deaf, it, you're going to have trouble with voice commands. And <laughs> but you know, you can train train a dog at any time in their life. They're yeah, just like a person really learn a new skill late in life. Sure, absolutely. I thought you can't teach an old dog new tricks. Um, That's not true. I believe you can. Uh, that is not true. <laughs> Jim, you're next with Howie Carr and Dr. Matt. Go ahead, Jim. Oh, hi, Howie. Hi, Dr. Matt. I have a, a young lab. He's only two. He's going to be actually three in about a month. Yep. But, um, he's got an itching problem. Um, not as bad as the, the guy before the last one. Right. Um, but he's he just constantly chewing, itching. So, we actually changed his food to like a Hills um, prescription one. Right. But, uh, it was bison because they wanted to change his food. And um, 
we it didn't work. We had we we you know we were pretty good not giving them anything but that. We ended yeah. up in, uh, Apoquil, which yeah. I read some not so good things about that <laughs> online. Of course, sure. uh, that it like disconnects their immune system, so they you know they they can get cancers and stuff. And I'm horrified. Sure, that. Yeah. is that true or, or well? Is, I mean, I, you know, here's here's the joke. I mean the you know the the coffee mug statement is don't confuse your Google search for my veterinary degree. Um, but <laughs> the, the, the thing about Apoquel is you're never going to read the good things. You're only going to read the bad things. Apoquel is a terrific product. I use it absolutely every day. And okay. I love it. There you go. Dr. Matt's going to stay on. Hang on everybody. What's your phone number? One more time, Dr. Matt. 978-948-8189. Thank you very much, Dr. Matt. See you next month. I'm Howie Carr. This week is the week you've been waiting for.